character. He's yeah. on a neutral is pretty decent with the character. But right now, we get a really good neutral. Ooh, we have Ken, and of course, we get a good neutral. We have to also mention Blanca. His neutral is insanely good in this game. Yeah, so much rise and shine from uh, from Blanca here in this game, honestly. Like, a lot of great normals remain safe in so many strings, right? We see a lot of the heavy hitters kind of leaning towards this character. Mena definitely putting Blanca on the spotlight here. But also, you see that from Coach Steve and even uh, Flash as well. But here we go with Wake Up Soup to start things off against Mung Thai Legend. Tyler's are getting corner to, uh, or caught up in the corner. This is a real bad Luchin jump denied with a DP applied. I like that. Stan Pierce doesn't really after it though. Maybe not, uh, not running any of those like Dragon Lash with plus range. So it gets a back though. This is good. Yep, absolutely. So we got the throw loop potential here. It goes for Pierce on um, wake up here. All right, nice corner position here for wake up super. About even on drive gauge. That's going to be something that Mung Tai wants to watch out for here, especially against Blanca. Oh, no. A little stagger step, faded out the DP, nice and easy. Staying breezy as wake up super with that first W. Right. Here on the first round. And, and again, that patience, right? We're seeing a lot of Blanca just kind of poking out, trying to force the situation from Mung Tai Legend. We see Mung Tai kind of leaning towards that sprint runner style here with that drive gauge, already having to back off against this fully charged up Blanca. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Do not want to be in the bad way when it comes to drive gauge because you gave it that drive impact. Nice punish counter on the, the heavy kick that's been whipping and not really doing too too much. No stand fierce activation from Wake Up Super. Runs a DP, but however, again that drive gauge, my guy, you gotta be careful. My man loves that that's a heavy kick. He is. Uh, I know, right? That abusing that button. There. I mean, there's a lot of great application of it. If you get that punish counter, that's the key factor, but no follow-ups if you get the regular hit. This is a solid start here, just to build up the drive gauge to get it back in returning. Steal away a little bit from Wake Up Super and plus that life lead, so maintain control. Watch out for that. Oh perfect parry. God. Yeah. And yeah. still got the back, though. Even though perfect parries are kind of weird in terms of jump-ins, still, mm -hmm. this is fantastic. One time, he is backing off, but, you know, in burnout, not that fast, slinging out the plasma. And now evening things out too as well. Uh, still three bars at the bottom here for Wake Up Super. They can use that for like Stamp Pierce activation. Yep. You know, putting them in that level two situation. And the bus frames in the bad way, but uh, I need to see that activated. I need to see that happen. Yep. I was almost going to expect that level one there. That perfect parry was actually really solid to get out of that corner, but still Mung Tai maintaining composure. Here's another perfect parry back throw to hold that corner position for Wake Up. But the aggression from Mung Tai playing as Ken should. You know, the Blanca player playing as Blanca should. Runs a command grab brawl. Double down with the throw. Backs off looking for the reversal. Now going for the jump in. Stagger stepping. Yeah, that's minus two. So he just waits a little bit. His turn back. Uh oh, back throw. The jab stuffing the Blanca ball. Wait a minute. That's a wrap here. First game for Muntai Legend. Off that recovery of the quickness. Shut up. Muntai. Getting a wake up super. I mean, it looked like they had it in their hands. And again, that yeah. bar at the bomb not being utilized. I'm kind of surprised. I need to see that level two, bro. That's one of the best in the business. That's how you reach up the party up. It's already not a fun matchup for the side of Blanca, but yo, perfect carry. Gets a punish. What's that positional advantage? And push him to the corner. Yeah. Wake up super's been on point with these perfect parries here. And it's interesting to see a more defensive style. Nice drive impact. Dude, we knew the follow up was coming from Mung Tai. But the defensive play for Wake Up Super has been, you know, playing off in spades, but like you called out, the lack of meter usage leaves so much damage on the table here for Wake Up Super and allowing Mung Tai to make these big comebacks like we're about to see here. Hey, no one DP still get the ball mm -hmm. though. Maximum amount of Oki on an enhanced top two no. neutral jump with the jump fierce. Fantastic OD DP, nice and easy. Mung Tai on set point. Wake up super about these sit down the losers with the quickness of going to do something different. And again, that bar at the bottom need to be spent. Yeah, honestly, that corner position was very interesting because Wake Up Super had a moment of hesitation, expecting aggression like this that we're seeing from Mung on the EXDP. But the delay for that neutral jump was absolutely critical for Mung to close that out there. Low drive gauge once again and wake up super definitely gonna fish for it but again time and time again use this meter to call it out okay i guess the knockdown get that activation normal dp montai sitting with that level three like a good combo conversion and then like a, a good gen rai into level three now even better he's in ca could get the kill nice a couple jabs here big jump in, but no confirm finally got drive meter back it's important. You're literally one touch away. You could chip out here. Yeah, just go for the bunker ball. Oh, you got it. No, okay, okay, actually, please. too far out. Oh. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I thought I was actually going to hit, considering how 
Good the ranges on all of his yeah. DPS, including a super. Surprise. Yeah, absolutely. I really thought because that jump from Wake Up Super, I thought it was going to be a neutral jump, and that would have been the round right there. But Wake Up Super had the forward momentum. Still fishing for it here. What a roundhouse. Just crouch sweep, really, from the reach. Let's go. Tatsu yeah, carry for this too. corner for pressure. Yeah. Maybe stand fierce. One of the best ways to go for a with this character is that stand fierce. Active out and about for a long time. Gets a DP nice and fine. Neutral jump fierce. And again, another throw. Off the course. Not where you want to be. TK's out of there. Level three. I don't mind this. Actually, C8. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, a lot of damage, a lot of time to build up that drive gauge. Very important here, especially in this corner position. You're at such a life deficit. Oh my gosh, we got the splat. Right, finish no sweep right after. Comes the medium kick. This will be the feet right here. Of course, Dragon Lash spins the super to make sure the job is done. And they've won, and they move on. Two winner side against Waking Up Super. Man, I mean, that's already a difficult matchup in the first place for the side of Blanca. Yeah. You know, this character, despite Blanca having great footsies, Ken has way better footsies. We were missing some key opportunities here. We saw that stand roundhouse just being able to fly freely without any punishment here. But, uh, you know, maybe we learn from the matchup once we go back and check it out. But FarmersOnly.com is not the only website you want to check out. YouTube.com slash at Tampa Never Sleep is probably the better one to look at. But GTR Freak 87 with the perfect parry in the back row. Nice SPD. Yeah, beautiful position open right now. Farmers Ooh. only, there we go. Gets the impact. Magna Buster, does he get that knockdown? Nice and close to as well. Not to spin that drive gauge. She's a thirsty girl, so he has to spin a lot of drive gauge for Oki and some of these sequences. Needy in, gets a throw right after. Farmers only set the hands only right now. Knows how to fail, hey, that's for sure. <laughs> skewed him here. Or Phalanx, rather. That skewed him right there. Nice. Easy follow. This is an interesting matchup here because I, I don't think that Zangief really has like a whole lot of like low pokes that really kind of just control the pace here. Like anti airings would be a little bit interesting with this character. But just riskier because of Phalanx uh, approach. What do you think? Yeah, I think overall, like, she have to take the air. I should say ground it. But my loyal fans, my loyal farmers. You're going down to the ground. Seeking like an earthworm. This set is almost adjourned. If they can keep him that sort sort of pressure, drive rushes in, takes the skies. I like the same game player taking the skies because when it comes to anti-airs, the Marisa has to get predictable. Yep. The crouch fears, you know, you gotta find the right ranges for that to hit. Mm -hmm. But for Geef, if you're nice in front with that old Dilari, you're a-okay. Oh, you know what? That's something I didn't think about. The crouch light kick being able to stop so much of Marisa's approach right there. Very interesting. Uh, Whoa! Easy! Relax! The Skewdom is built to pierce through your shield! Mm -hmm. That's why I think this uh, matchup can be problematic on the ground. You don't really need too much. Lariat uh, kind of getting deleted. And now yeah. we see the quad kick to do it. I, I feel like, you know, you have Gladius. You have better neutral. Your reward is better too as well. And, you know, Geek wants you close, but that's also where Marisa stands and wants to land all of her hits. That's, she's like, that's her optimal range. She's like, I love this. Stay close to me. Pick up the rush. There we go. Bring it down. Oh, wasn't ready for the drive impact. Oh, it's Gator Freak. All right, let me see Gator Freak twerk on Farmers Only. Spicy match. Right, that drive rush cancel right there. Goes to the low. That crouching light kick, a great opener. People don't think about that. They lose that mod of a classic spine. Still is that Gladius. Phalanx approach there. There's the Gladius again. Keep it up with the meter just because we aren't spending drive gauge just being I don't have meter. What's up? The Superman. Yeah, yeah. Or that. <laughs> Easily done. The so farmersonly.com got somewhere to be, though. Oh, it's yeah. It's in the name. You'd think they'd have so much patience because of the growing season's, you know, over, right? Like, we're at this point harvesting the corn, you know, setting up for corn mazes, even. I think the growing season's just begun if you get my drift. Farmersonly.com has them caught up in the corner. Oh, the STD against the button was out in about too long. Oh no, tried to EX SPD on the Gladius, just mistimed it unfortunately. Immediate stun because of that drive impact. It's a wrap. Farmersonly.com is the one stop you can find fellow farmers to partner up with, especially during the cold winters. Vote for your favorite flavor of Capri Sun in this next matchup here. Which one's Capri Sun? Are you kidding me? Zangief can't even hold Capri Sun without destroying it. 
Wait, 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 wait. The Capri Sun is not the Blanca player who right? have all the various colors and stuff like that. Nah, it with the normal costume too, Capri Sun. I don't know, you gotta change your name. You gotta change and at least be like blue Capri Sun or something like that. You know, you could be Capri Sun, but you have to make a character that melts into liquid, you know? Yeah, what is this? Could have an hockey player. We'll see what they do. I feel like this matchup cannot be too beneficial. So many ways to get, you know, the side switch on defense. Zangief lacks and slacks. Oh my gosh. Get, you know, throw. Very great position here for my rock the boat to walk up and still press that fierce. Oh my god. Rathaus rather. Mm -hmm. I said heavy kick's a really good button. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Bucket players have told me that, that it's really good to like stuff and stop drive rush. And it's like I got really good like oh, it's very active. That's gonna be a punish. And it almost found the follow-up right there as a punish counter still. I rock the vote is doing a really good job keeping the mouth and, uh, and that one such situ uh, situation. One yeah. hit, all he needs. So careful here. Yep, tries to bait something out here with the drive brush, but Rock the Boat being very smart here. Just stand roundhouse is all we need, or we can go for the wild slide. So I slide. Here we go. I rock the boat. Catching all these uh, walkbacks and things like that. Try to get with the command grab. Hold on now, Capri Sun. Get it close, but we we'll have the parry. Strange. No SPD right after. We'll find the impact, though. There's that stand heavy kick. Here we go. We have to drive rush for if we want that Oki, but uh, still, it's getting closer and closer to that corner. A little bit too slow on the punish of the overhead here. A little bit safe. Just honestly, it ends up being zero after drive rush, right? I believe so. I believe the frame data. A little slight punish there only gets a throw right after. Tries to get the D cross up. Rock the boat. About to get rocked on those ankles in a moment here. Whew. That's a fair call right there, going for the drive impact on block the ball. Or we just take the trade. Good stuff for good three stuff. Yeah, some of those deeper trades are unfortunate for this character. Stand, or Stand Heavy Kick is a good anti air, but like, when it's for those deeper trades, not so much, not enough help for that transaction. All evened out in rounds. Oh. Canceled, so right. Siberian Express, oh man. Flip in the corner too as well, stagger stepping, waiting for a reversal, no thing, yeah. nothing came, nobody home. Seen that a couple times now for Capri Sun, and yo, the block Laria is troublesome here. Rock the boat can control this corner position, especially with three bar. Tries to dash up and get the ant here. Unfortunately, too far ahead for that one. All right, you haven't caught from the corner. This is one of those matches I feel like you can run more the Blanca Chan because he has right. to drive rush forward, does not have a lot of distance with it. Gotta find that right range. You have to be careful. There's level two, so I get it. You don't want to be. Uh, Put up in the the muscly vacuum that this character has, but uh, we get that knockdown. Go to town. Oh, I like that neutral jump preemptively out of there. Hold on, so you don't go south. Almost dropped it right there too after going into the stance. Like had to wait for ever to make sure that we could get that connection here. The level three does help to catch up, but that's a big call out here. We don't see a whole lot of Blanca Chan. All right, never mind. He <laughs> said, "I got you. <laughs> Nobody got me. Chan? Say less. Bruh. Nobody got me. Blanca Chan got me. Does put him in the corner at least." Morton. Really fishing for that drive impact though from Capri Sun. And same for Irock the vote. Chan out again. Yeah, electrify. Yeah, I don't blame you at this life point here because look at that. Yep, that's the scary thing. Especially now that you're burned out. You didn't have Blanca Chan to back you up here as you were burned out as well. That's a big, you know, safety net for you here if you try to keep pressure in the corner, especially against a threat like Zangief, who only needed the one touch for the kill. You gotta watch out for that bar though again, you know, mm -hmm. like bar and their bar too as well. That'll also dictate like what they're gonna do. Like it's gonna tell yes. you the the tail of the tapes and drive impact if you have no bar. You can play around that too. That's kind of the uh, meta of Street Fighters playing around when you do and don't have gauge. I rock the boat. I rock the boat wasn't doing a lot of things bad, but uh, they definitely pick up the pace and yeah, yeah. more of these side switches, put them on the back foot and run that Oki, where again, Keith is going to lack. You don't got the deep, take out a reversal. Exactly. That's the big thing here is that we see so little in that set play from Block here in this matchup right now. Nice drive rush to hold the corner, go for the B and B. Beautiful setup here, but now you're burned out. I and mean, that's the terrifying thing you got to deal with because we've seen Capri Sun willing to rip, drive impact, nice air throw. He drops him down to the ground now. Knocks him off his feet with the sweep. I like that. Back off. Hard the actually going in. But this is the switch up. You expect him to back off. Oh! He's actually going in. Okay, nice. Punish sweep. No. Punish. Yeah. Toenails aren't long enough for that one. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Block a here. 
we go. Electrified. Stay right underneath it. That was a smart call to go for the rush because you're either going to get the anti-air or the homie block that Sean's going to back you up on this one. Punish that. No! It's not a good enough button to reach that punish. Hey, Beers. Careful of that button. And they are. He's going to jump again, trying to call out the impossible throws. Gets a side switch back. Medium kick as a starter. Dash up stand, heavy kick counter hit. I like this a little more dominance as soon as I said that. Got jumped in on. You know, when it comes to combo damage, not a lot from the side of Geek. You're really looking for SPD. You snuck in every so often. So you'll take those hits. Oh, absolutely. Because if you do end up catching Blanca, all the better here. And great block from I Rock the Boat here was able to get the electrified setup on Blanca. Sean. Oh, he's trying to be careful. I see that oh, yeah. at the bottom of Soda's he, But still, he'll be able to seal the deal right here. Sweet. Oh, no. He's a, he's a chunky boy. But still, that last <laughs> bite was all he needed. It was just on the side right there. With the extra fat on it. Yeah. That's a scary situation, too, in those corners. Uh, especially, too, you have all the meter in the world. And you're not quite sure if the opponent is going to have the reactions to go for level one interrupt. Or, uh, you know, in this case, he's level two, right? Whoa. <laughs> okay, has him in the corner. Waits and baits. Now it's time to decimate. Yeah, give me your health. Give me your drive gauge with that punish counter. And he goes for the sweep to try to kill that drive gauge. And he does, but it's caught up in the corner. A lot of distance, a lot of real estate. I rock the boat can use. Can walk back and again, that block a chan gets that space. Yeah, and safe enough to do this block a ball in particular, uh, especially too. You don't have to worry about that drive impact, but you do have to worry about getting SPD to death, especially without any drive meter to get yourself out of dodge. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, we have to worry about that reversal. Like, that's a great time to be a rapper player. Sneaks in the command grab after that couple of piece right there. Drive rush oh, in. No. No. Can't hit the impact. Some impacts can't work at certain ranges, but it's yes. kind of risky to do that. But still, the piece hunt is walking them to the corner. Dog walking them. In this case in particular, I would love to see a perfect parry and then cancel that to drive rush. As long as you're getting perfect parries, you're going to be a-okay. Mm -hmm. Plus, you get that punish anyways. In a lot of cases, even if you don't get that perfect parry, you still have enough time to try to just drive rush and give a block after. On the other hand, you know, let the block player kind of adapt to that, and they can also call that exactly. up. Exactly. ball, get the punish counter. That's like the rotation of options. There's never like a solid answer, but there's enough answers that you can utilize. Mm -hmm. Switch it up. Did not get the conversion. Unfortunate. No push from High Rock. The vote. They're going to actually run the super. Just let it roll. Let it hang out like that. That's going to be an easy punish. And they go into CA. We see another round, but the drop still gets a walk-up throw. It's early in the bracket, Cole. You know, we're still getting that warm-up going. Probably going to hit the lab after this to close things out, but what? Mm -hmm on Amazon Run. Got Prime on that one here to get into the next round. Right to your door. One day or less. Rock the boat. Back up for that anti-air. Perfectly nice. done. Gets the OD follow-up. Great oh. the command grab. Catch with Meaty, but it didn't work. And now he's put up in the corner. Back throw up in the corner. No stand fierce to clip the bunker ball, though. Does get the sweet slot right after. If we backed off, trying to get an air SPD right there from uh, I Rock the Boat. Or, excuse me, Capri Sun. Oh, again, another drop. He had level three also. You kill. You kill. It's your game to win. Do it. Do not Capri Sun. Too scared. <laughs> Mark the block to level two. Liquid Ice. Hops in. Okay, he's got the drive gauge again. His game to win any which way he wants to. Mm -hmm. The, the Blanca Chan, Coward Crouch, and tires right there. Do not be a salesman. Do not be a salesman. As Jabbers would say. They're so. Oh my goodness. No, don't spend it all! No! Amazon way. Rush does get SPD'd! One more touch is all that Capri Sun needs. If he drive rushes into Super, I'm done, bro. No it's way. a wrap for not, not only I rock the vote. It can happen to you. It can happen to you. The phone's trying to the impact, but there's the throw. Calls it out and stays south. There's no loyal fans here. It's just I rock the vote. They've all actually just went over to vote for him. We even have right. to know where that came from, my hero. I mean, that's what came to my mind. I was like, oh, really? Appreciate it, because Gran Torino, that would have been an actual stretch of like, all right, wait. <laughs> Smash Mentality. Is this, the, this is the same one, right, Chad? I, I feel like we talked about this. Yeah. 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 All right. Falcon player on DJ. 
she's Easily. really efficient with that too and has enough of this gap closed out to get the splat. Oh! You're trying Ooh, to wake up, up the uh -uh. No, bro. Uh -uh. That ain't gonna happen. Uchi would have called out a lot. And that corner play is like difficult for her to leave. Like her defensive options all get blown up by lows and throws. So you have to be careful what you send out. And Sweet is sending things out bad. Oh! Bear is Superman punch. Just runs the overhead brawl. Gets the mediums. Oh no, the old D gonna pick, pick up with the crouch fierce. Gladius too as well. Jack nice up the EX. Jump light kick with the fake cross up. Yo. Where are you going? Nice. Yeah. It's insane. That was, That's, that was an insane play from Torino. And an insane donation from Michael Dude. $10 into the pot. Greatly appreciate it. All love. We're going to see the drive impact against Superman punch. Going for level three. Yes, yeah, sir. Let me get that bar back and then some. Team Linko, if I said that right, hopefully. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the love. Appreciate you dropping the primes. You all can definitely drop the primes on us. I know uh, September has ended, but the love never stops out here for TNS, baby. Appreciate all y'all. We're up because that punish counter. This is bad. This counter oh. is really good. The OD fireballs or just drive impacts also make it a wrap. But OD fireballs also would have been nasty. DJ, not bad, not bad at all. Great patience from Fatality too. Just kind of maintaining control and again. You know, water the ducks back against uh, Torino's round with uh, Marissa. Because, you know, two touch game with this character more often than not. But Fatality still performing so well in this corner position right now. Yeah, looks like all things out backed up. No one charged for the anti air right there. Damn, you need to get the stuff and stop the drive rush. Impact right back. That should be a wrap. Crouch fears. Of course. Is it with the OD? Still had more in the tank. Fatality. Is definitely taking heads out here. Torino got to do something real quick with it. I'm telling y'all, it's not a hot take anymore. How many Smash players is it going to take for y'all to realize the reactions from Smash players? Don't test them. Do not. They're really good. <laughs> also, don't test my boy. Dr. Church coming through with the five gifted. Hey, y'all, you got to give the give of love right back, and we appreciate all that. Dang, that is so much. I appreciate you. What's up? Look EX Jack back to back here. Gut punch and dropped it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Sam, medium punch, you, you gotta link it into like a conversion. Or right. you gotta link it into a combo, I should say. Because if you don't, it's gonna be punishable. They had the right read, but just the drops are definitely eating Torino. And that's gonna be a reaction. If you go for level three, he did! Dang! Level two would have worked out too as well. You see it as an anti in uh, many cases. Level three, a lot of damage and actually got the kill. I cannot believe that's that fatality. did enough. Woo! Fatality right there. Wow. her. Wrong With game. that, let's not blast or anything. Yeah. You know, this I'm won't be on you're YouTube, here. so you won't ever hear this. But, you know, mm -hmm. if you're live I'm in chat, here. then you can defend yourself. But if you were on YouTube right now, you wouldn't even hear it. Well played, Cola. Well played. See? I'm always thinking. And so is that. Bit. Like, he's so good with this character. Always having a mix, ready and steady. And just the way that he plays is, like, so overwhelming. Mm. He also has neutral, which is wild to say for Kim players. <laughs> I feel like you kind of need to with this character. Are you kidding me? Well, that's why you don't see many Kim players succeed because they don't want to access that part of the character. I mean, she doesn't have the best buttons, but being yeah. able to figure out what you structure with and uh, how to send people to the corner is how to get success just like this. This is where she really works. Don't about the game. Yeah, absolutely. I already got that burnout. This is great, but what a neutral jump from co-op there. That's just for that forward throw. What a perfect parry and a challenge here. Got the high teleport for a quick little overhead confirm. We're neutral jumping. The hard read from Dap Vip. That's it. All right, Dap Vip. Calling off that super. Big waste of bar, unfortunate. And the uh, Dap Vip next round. Very dominantly, too, as well. Uh, switch ups, what this character needs to do. The neutral, not so good. Caught the walk back and just like that. Perfect little combo. As soon as I say that, drop the light one. Damage of the deck. Get Sandblast and try to send it through the DMs. Not a good look here. Drop though. What a last minute reaction for Co op there to opt for the throw. Be careful, these fireballs. Yeah. So we see a switch up for the drive impact as he's landing. And so was all these knuckles. Oh, didn't get the follow up, but still get the throw. As soon as I say, oh, he's got it with the perfect knuckle combo. He dropped though. So let me stop. Right. I'm sorry. My bad. It, the name is not just a name. It's a, it is a cooperative experience. You can't be throwing off co-op, okay? My bad, my bad, co-op. Let me let you work. 
Let me let you work. Gotta work yourself outside this corner, but that's a throw. Puts him there. ODDP gets him, gets him a little bit of distance, but for how long? So quick at closing the gap. What a dry brush back throw. Oh no. And it's always wow. happening too, isn't it? You see someone drive impact, you're like, you know what? I'll drive impact right back immediately after. Timing on wake up, kind of difficult. And this is difficult. Uh, you know, you don't have a reversal. What a tag. The throw does not connect. Mm -hmm. Hold off impact. We react though. And this puts co op in burnout. And Daffit has CA. Can you get into the yellow? Yep. He will with the Vagabond and the Super. This actually should kill. CA, see you next game. However, Co-op was doing bits, though. That's good. It's good. Ooh. All right. Nice little turnaround here from Dap. No Memphis, Jack. Yeah, relax. Turn we're right done back. with Memphis now. We're, we're done. You don't want to go there. I no. never had this discussion. Chad didn't like that. Oh my God. The three people from Memphis were really upset at what we said. Yeah, do so. not talk about <laughs> Memphis on TNS. No one talk about it. Careful now. Co-op. Slides on and see. You know, Daphne with that great walk. You guys that great walk speed to hide these slides every so often. I like that. Mutual jump on the drive -in. I mean, gosh, the reach that she has in the jump roundhouse is absolutely insane. So you can't get that neutral jump, especially at that range. Usually catch some folks unaware. There we go. That big counter hit after the drive impact. I mean, instead of opting for DP, we have to go for that drive impact to catch it. We've got to pay off that one time here, but I want to see some more rising uppercuts too. Easier to say done against her too. Yeah. Yeah. I like to say mini kick though. I was going to say, but. That was not the play. OD fire, or ODDP thrown out, got clipped. This is back up in the corner. Meaty, so we'll get hit though. Yeah, that's still out and about, my friend. Please jump with, okay. Dunk. She tried to go for a shimmy right there. I'm not sure what we were hoping for. Maybe reversals uh, super, but nice way to wrap that round up from co-op. You have three bars at the bottom. At okay. this point, you want to spin to win. Immediately go into super. Azuna drop. Not yet. You want to get in that buff as soon as possible. Get that extra damage, extra speed. Come on. Help out making this nasty, but he said, I don't even need it. He said, it's no. not even necessary. It's a getting scary up in this corner. There's a Vagabond, and there's a super. We built the drive gauge. Impressive stuff here. I mean, the confidence from Dap, right? It's just, I'm already winning neutral, so I'm going to take it that additional step further. Perfect round, perfect game. Dap, Vip. Dap to VIP, let me correct myself. Dap being a VIP and taking a 2-0 victory over co-op. That poison on you with the explosion after, with the follow-ups, we're talking 30% plus? Like, wait a minute. She a Street Fighter 6 character. When people oh, yeah. are saying, you know, make her lose uh, some of the drive gauge when she hits you with the, with the poison, like, you get that sapped away. I'm like, I don't know about that. She's already <laughs> not a bad character. No, you know, some of the defense is lacking. You know, she does have some great corner escape options too as well. We see the OD like snake slide to get outside yes. that other characters just don't have. That also kind of low profiles things that you would expect. Set plays nasty too as well. Her neutral's pretty good with Sam medium punches. So are these perfect exactly. carries. Diaphone and not letting anything go to chance right now. Nice stand roundhouse here. Got the explosion pickup. Nice out of the corner just like that. And see, that is the type of kind of combo you get out of um, you know, just going for the poison stance. Ooh, the flip punches, not finding their mark. Yeah, you gotta be careful with those depending on the trick that you use. Yeah, they're not too bad, like, on block. They can't get drive impacted, though, if people are waiting for yes. the anti right there. OD fireball. We gonna slither on in to get our win and avoid these fireballs. Fantastic, and staying close enough to calculate where to hit that was really great. I like that. Mm -hmm. The anti fireball play is really good right now. Correct though, goes for low, careful now. There we go, goes low roundhouse here after the snake slide. The throw? Yeah, we're gonna spend it here, but we got the parry ready. Balrog, RG, got it on lock here. Should be able to kill. Oh, yeah. Still had more in the tank for these OD, if need be. That's the crazy part. I've definitely seen the 40% combos when you have the just two in there. All right, I like that. Now we're still seeing something different with like OD fireball from the side of Diapo to kind of command the neutral. When you want to zone, you run the OD. They have to be very careful about how they try to strike back. She has some good anti-airs, some good ranges. Heavy lash. 
That's a big reach for that drive impact. Excellent punish counter right there too from Maki. Look at that damage. Yes, yeah, spend it with the level three here. As RJ would say, do that to me. Diaphone. Poke away. Getting that super to seal it and getting that first victory. And again, you already see like him understanding what to do in certain matchups or at least the general idea. This is where I stand to avoid the fireballs and not get clipped by those. So I optimize things in terms of supers, what I do after like post knockdown situations. It's all coming together. Yeah, you do. Definitely need a game plan with Aki here as well, but my god, look at that. Perfect parry. Able to get this corner positioning as well. Poisoned up. Extend the damage and bait out the EX Jackknife. Oh, this is bad. You're dead. You're just dead. Better than dead. Who said that she needed more damage? Dang, is it with the poison cloud for the finish? Set point diaphone. I kid you not, the day I booted up this character and went through the first you know, tutorial of her, man, this character just does not hurt. Went to combo trial right after him and, all right, bro, relax, everybody. This character yeah. is kind of, kind of all right. He's going to take some work, but I, oh, yeah. work. I think this will work with her. The neutral's yeah. not that bad, too. But... There's just so much reward that she gets, especially when she applies poison. Like, yes, you're getting damage over time, but as long as you get that next hit and follow up right after, especially with how her drive rush works, the extension off of her quarter forward medium punch, I believe it is, for the nails to go diagonal to get that additional carry. Mm. Nasty. Nice. The slide. Yeah, go ahead, throw it. I dare you. It's I a punish, though, minutes. at least. Yeah, that's true. So take that risk. One more hit will be it. Go for the overhead, the lash to catch them walking back and just like that. Diaphone. You know, honestly, that's a great neutral tool. I was watching uh, Automatic talk about how that, like, that's a really good neutral tool. Like, you don't even use normal fireball design. Get that punish and uh, still carry that set. But FarmersOnly.com returns with Paladin on Ryu. I, of course, you play Ryu with the name Paladin. Oh, this is the homie right here, one of the best reviews in the business. Mm -hmm. We saw him working out at Seattle Taku. I think that was one of his first offline tournaments, I believe. But he is an online CFM monster. He has been so since five, and he has continued to be so at six. In fact, he has been recognized like overseas by other people. I saw him uh, in a video recently. And he was like very flattered. He is a very good Wii player. I'd probably say, like, along with Tego, like top three out here of Wii U. In terms of the U.S., but uh, has to fight. Farmers only getting the man grab, gripped up. He's slipping up. Nice top in the corner. One touch. Ooh. Nice parry. Jumps over the Gladius. Overhead does connect here. Nice. Not close up to the splat that we were looking for. We really want. Oh my God, we got Ooh. it. So smart. Stan Pierce and a drop impact. That should be a wrap. DP follow up. Yes, sir. Stan Pierce cancel to go for the drop impact right after. You so smart to go for that option. I know y'all have been watching Stage Jam Roman League right now. I'm trying to get the master. Nothing but Stan Fierce. Why not? It's a great button. Especially up at the corner. But even mm -hmm. mid-screen is fantastic. I like that size for Stotsy right there. Outside the corner. A little Oki too as well. No drive rush punish, but this is fine. The throw will get punished though. The pickup. Ooh, that's tough. Went for the parry, but Skewden will get the scoop. All right, all even out bar on both sides. Level three on both sides too as well. Definitely matters for the side of Marisa. She can definitely double the damage and get it or finish things out. The Paladin does stand here, starter drive brush. Asho Geki Tatsu right after, yes sir. Book with the throw. Wow, wow, wow. Not close to get the full send here. Jabs, nice. Oh my God. No! no! Oh, they got a fix for you. Nah, you see, you backed off. He was like, wait, this is something to cap up. So finish off this conversion and compo. Still get to Gil, but uh, I know he backed off. You know, in the moment where, you, where something weird happens, you both kind of just back off, and you're like, wait, what happened? Why that happened like that? That's what happened to Paladin. He going to send us Capcom, and so are we. But Paladin still gets a win. Damn, it's unfortunate. Walk backwards and send the report right now. Click that and uh, send email directly to the Capcom helpline. Oh. Nice jump down. She is donkey hit coming through in clutch, but check the gut. Back up. I like that fireball. Safe option at that distance against a Gladius. Needy fireball again. Bro, he just running the ball. Honestly, yeah. it's good because it's about to be chip, no dip, bro, depending on what happens. You're looking for a drive. Oh my god. Or just a Stan Fierce confirmed to find a finish. That's all that it was. It was Stan Fierce, uh, four Fierce. Like, either way, like, you were just getting the heavies. What mm -hmm. a perfect parry. 
finish with that knockdown. Ooh. Backed up on the sound, the, the forward fuse, I should say. It's not standing here. Forward fuse. Sword Flex Real from Michigan. What do you mean? What does that even <laughs> mean? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. That's U of M College right there. We got the Wolverine. Ah. He's mauling him up in the corner. Paladin getting away with that level three. Cutting from all the winner.com's chances of moving through the bracket. That's more where you play. We get to see uh, later on. And again, this character, even though he is probably one of the weakest, he is still a threat. I mean, Street Fighter VI allows you to be a threat with any character. Yes. Allows you to deal with damage. Yeah, you have drop sets and everything you'd like to have in a character. Great fireballs, great normals, great drive rush, and of course, he is the great burnout. But he is going with Kim. All right. Huh. Surprise. Bad kick. You know what, Kim? I, she's ridiculous. So I, we can also complain about her drops, too. Brother, he didn't try for us that heavy kick. Hello? <laughs> Just take this foot. What? Spike. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, just the range that you have to deal with against Cammy. She's excellent neutral game, especially this rate of speed at which she can close these gaps. Punch it. Nice. Just keep it punishing in the corner. Just jab it out. I mean, what do you do? As, as Zellum, as not just as Zellum, as a Manon player, how do you stop this offense from Cammy, you know? I mean, on the ground, your buttons aren't that bad. They don't lead to right. a lot, but your footsie buttons aren't bad. When she takes this guy, it's problematic. God kick can hit some of your blessed buttons, or just like that, clip some of these limbs that are out, and uh, that just starts the party. So when she gets aerial, you have to go for crouch fears. But again, you can't always be perfect, and what it leads to is Oki continuously for Cammy after these spiral arrows. And pull his pressure up in the corner. Where's your defense? You only have like a super. Medium punch there for Knuckle Dude and still able to keep control. Zellum trying to fight out. Can't be jumping on reaction to the late, to the jump recovery from Knuckle Dude here. That's problem. All right, perfect parry. Stan Fierce got the light kick confirmed. And that's a wrap. Just like that. Knuckle Dude with the Cammy. I'm sitting here talking about Guile. So let me bring out that scammy Cammy. I'm getting to your bank account. Someone said, yo, I see Crouch Fierce does work good against the dive kick. The problem is the other jump and other things that she presents makes it hard to always utilize that Crouch Fierce. Like, even like right there, like you'd like to Crouch Fierce, but you ain't gonna catch every single jump out of this character. And when the dive kick does land, it's the, the reward that she gets versus your Crouch Fierce when you're close, it's not a lot. She's like, in strike throw range, but you know, dive kick leads into Oki for Kami. Reward is not so good. Here. Yo, the hooligan knuckle. Yeah, we gotta start blocking some of these here. Good block on the overhead, though. Well, look, yeah. two medals. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that roundhouse from Knuckle Duo has been really sending it here for this entire set, right? You get to push back into the corner with it. That reach is so difficult to try to punish it. Like, you really have to. Okay! Had to put okay. Had to do it to stay alive. It's a yeah. slash. Can you make something of this? No, just a media jab. Actually, delay jab. Knuckle do about to go up in games and rounds right now. I think that's a bit of decision paralysis right there. Because you see that level one bar from Knuckle Dude, just like, all right, well, I don't want to get called out. Despite you and burnout, I don't want to get blown up for this. And again, the exact same position that Zellum has been in this entire set. Just stand roundhouse, push back to the corner. Jab, jab, it's the waters, finds a side switch. That's gonna be level three. We spent here to seal the deal. Kill it me with the sting. Knuckle dude, moving to game point. But honestly, you know, trying to jab out has been difficult. He's in difficult ranges to, to poke out that stand heavy kick, as you've yeah. been pointing out. Hitting the roundhouse, getting punished kind of for corner carry. And then you think of nasty things like stand like it in the drive run for drive impact to catch them lacking. Yes. It is it's looking it's kind of difficult right now. And that's the thing, you know, you're trying to kind of win Knuckle Dew is going to throw out that stand roundhouse because that drive impact is really nice, right? There's no follow up cancel that you can do after stand roundhouse from Cami. So that drive impact is a fairly safe bet, but it's dependent upon if you're making that hard read because of the quick recovery that she can have at that distance. In the corner now, once again, and without bar, we don't have defense. You, you only have the innate. So a defense the game gives you, like Ooh. parry and things like that. Knuckle Doop, okay, nice. finally drop down the ground with the Crouch Fears. But again, nothing big. We'll pull we'll push with the Vortex. We'll get the Command Grab too as well. Two medals. Uh-oh, nice. Just tried to go for the Burnout with that Drive Impact. Does get it on the second time with a stun to boot. Not enough 
heal quite yet. I'm trying to build up as much meter as we can, too. I thought for sure we might spend another drive rush to get the kill. Does work out not having enough health to take that drive impact first round for Knuckle Dew. We'll have to seal this. Again, looking difficult. They haven't really found a way outside this corner. Maybe taking initiative might be the way to play. More that stand medium punch, but you see how pensive they are to even throw out a single butt. The dive kick, even the neutral. Now, never mind. It's command grab level three. Get close with it. Get comfortable with these command grabs. I'm trying to see some damage because when it comes to damage, when non needs those command grabs to land. Nice got medium kick to follow through here. Excellent patience from Zella. But still get walked out to this west side of the screen. There we go. Got four medals now. That's the most that Zellum has had in this entire set. One more touch, the overhead shuts it down. Good round here. This is the most metal Zellum has had this entire set. Has it gone higher them. than three metals? Yeah, that's true, but now they can really go to town. Even the idea of getting ripped up, they can play around even more so. We'll get the counter hit. Ballerina spin mid, gets it closer to the corner. Backs up for the anti right there. Flip with the dive kick, I like these anti -ers. Now baits out the old EDP. Oh, this should be level three. And this should be close to victory. If not, damn near dead. Zelda. Just the hair's breadth away and goes for drive impact. I mean, that's a safe send, right? You have full health, even though Knuckle Dew has full meters. It's fine to send that drive impact because the risk is no. So not as significant as the reward here in that position. Yeah, they would have to level, level one or one like mm -hmm. one of the supers in reaction. We would have exactly. got a chance to play, but you know, still, as you put it, you know, that's still a pretty decent bet. Sell them back in business. And let me fix what I said previously. These antis, when they have the right range to space them out, you know, mm -hmm. have been working out. But there you go. And yeah, see, at that distance, just waiting for Knuckle Dude to kind of jump in, harassing with these holes every so often. Maybe say Heavy Kick can be implemented every so often too as well. You know, true, checking true. and challenging him. Knuckle Dude. Yeah, I wonder if a lot of it was really trying to feel out the pace that Knuckle Dude wanted to play at in this set here. Especially now that we're standing at a range where Stan Roundhouse is not as effective. But this jump in finally working out for Knuckle Dude. Zella missing the anti air opportunity. Nice throw. Again, fake out, and this will land up. Do one set point, but however, Zellum seeing them turn up like volume as things go on. See him even walking back, trying to get that right distance, the gauge distance for like the anti air. Still gets him with the punish counter, that corner carry. Ooh. Just barely out of range that stand wrap house from Ruffle Do. Really trying to force out a big whiff from Zellum here with these stand shorts. Cross cut DP. Mm hmm. Dive kick straight, that's bad because you put up in the corner, perfect parry. Back though, no. Drive impact, get some distance. Way good block here from Knuckle Dew, but no confirm after the little counter hit there from the stand short. That's up on the board. Mm -hmm. the drive rush, but heavy, super. Look at that bar back. I guess that's very important for them to get yes. that spin to win. Get closer to bring Knuckle Dew down because they're losing a lot of health. Yeah, now they have a slight lead, and they got a lot of bar to utilize. Jeez, watched. Oh my goodness, an air throw? Please don't do it. There we go. Burned out Careful though is the problem. That's a wrap yeah. here. Knuckle Dude taking it 3-1 over Zella. Good stuff for Knuckle Dude to recognize again how the bar has been spent. He's been aiming for the drive gauge. If you kill the drive gauge, you kill the character, and Knuckle Dude is continuously aiming for that. However, Zelm has some great anti-airs. I gotta give him a lot of credit to kind of, you know, shift back a little bit, let that crescent kick hit on OD or Crouch Fierce. But again, the reward is just not always there. And it's not, I think it's getting people in, in this yeah. game can really shine with that. Now, moving on to Escaping Jail versus Mangle. Escaping Jail goes one spot to TNS. With this DJ playing, we're gonna go up against Mangle on the Honda. Hands on the man. Oh, so for the Knuckle Dude Joe themselves, huh? Funky yeah. Slicer picked up as well with the machine gun uppers. Hey. Nice skill cool. throw. Mm -hmm. And then the corner, this is bad. Not a lot of good defense. You have, you have OD headbutt, yeah. but, you know, oh, that could would. be weighted and baited. Yeah, got the cross, get DP. And now another throw. It is hands in terms of grit on the side of escaping jail continuously. He, honestly, in that corner situation, escaping jail literally said you have to figure out how to get out of throws, otherwise I'm going to keep doing it. And that's a great mentality to have, especially in a pool play situation, especially in a top 96 situation like this. 
It's hard. Oh, you can't nice. backdash like other characters can, so mm -hmm. it makes sense. Wants like heavy kick. It's a follow up. Strike throw. Ooh. Ah, the shimmy. The finesse of Blessed from the rest. Level three, the massage bar. There's a lot of meat. I can take it all down. It says escape from jail. First game. Yeah. Yep. Tenderized. Ooh, I like that. Usually go for like strike or throw. He backed up for a little bit. Oh, yeah. This character's like, it, he's got like such good like built in mix up. Like, and, and that's, DJ. Yeah, because DJ just looks like a whole mix up in general. Just long reaching limbs. I'm just, wait, is that actually going to hit me or not? And then suddenly you're in throw range. Just wait for just cool light kick. That hits punish counter. Nasty. Very nasty. Oh my. Gets across up BP. No bar even necessary against that too as well. I think this matchup not that bad here for DJ. A lot of options to play against what he does in terms of like the entry points. Kinda would like. Yes. It's not over yet. I mean the anti-air is just critical uh, as a part of DJ, right? Because it's just a charge anti-air. So you don't have to worry about inputs. You're charging that back up as you're trying to check the forward approach. Great, you jumped over me. Cool, I got the up kicks and we're good to go. Let's wrap this up to level two. Oh, you get a play. Yeah, escape chill. Extra oxtail. Up a game and around right now. And again, denying the entry point. Butt slam, head butts, not really worked out. Recovers in time to get the anti-air. Back heavy kick denied. The super to get that pushback. Have to use that as a rebuttal. Nice jab out. Able to seal the turn with the rush after the headbutt. Yeah, I love the back up there too, right? We're trying to with punish. And finally, the jackknife not working out. Threading the needle is mangle. The command grab with the knife with the overhead. Or sorry, the uh, ODE. Gets the cross cut. Even if burnout. Bro, he is hitting him with the jackknife. They are on point continuously. Bro, you're on burnout. You're supposed to be the one dying. Drive impact blocked. Okay, finally the butt slam lands and caught him going to the skies. Nice. Drive rush here once again. Right back at you. Try to go for throw. One more dog side. No, no, the stand heavy. Or jump heavy rather. Oh, so well. It's a pickup. He's a heavy kick, of course. OD for the pop. He's up for the corner. Goes for the butt slam. What? Huh? Great jump Pierce. Jump Pierce. As, yeah. In air to air. Uh, it's it's great. It's great. I uh, I would not. You know what? Whatever, DJ. Whatever, DJ players. Yeah, he needs that. Still the headbutt lands. Caught the walk back. All right, Mangle. Evening things out here. Game to game. Getting out the tangle. I dig it. <laughs> Nice jackknife. I mean, telegraphing the jumping approach here. Mangle in trouble. Nice EX. Soul box to move. Yeah, maybe kick for the plus range. Don't do all sorts of problems. The throw, though. Mangle takes advantage of that opportunity. Get some space up in this place. Back to the screen. Crouch fears, too, as well. Careful of that drive gauge. Mangle, I, honestly, at this point, you go in, kill that drive Absolutely. gauge as possible. But maybe that's a little too oh! obvious. Just find a stand pierce and stop sign. Oh, criminal scum. Just jab it out, blue right through the drive impact foot. Escape jail on the burnout, but escaping, going for that jack knife, about to steal this round here at this rate. Ah. Ooh, that bar at the bottom. Escape jail has to be pocket watching, to not be dropping. Check the bar at the bottom, call it out. You only need one hit with it. Sure, neutral jump, but easier said than done. Maybe you're worried about butt slam, but still. Mango, now doing a lot of work. These head butts are starting to land a little bit different. Fall short, get the scoop. But with Mangle in the sky, it makes things a little bit more terrified. I think we wanted to cancel charge into the uh, jack that just didn't have enough charge time for it. Nice. That was there. You can see that quite often there where escaping jail does kind of do the trap rush and the throw, but after the recovery of the throw, we already had that charging jack knife. Oh, he went to punch kind of said, heavy kick. I feel it, I feel it, but like with that follow up, we'll get the sweep off the feet. Again, there's that just blue light. That's a good night. Oh, no, it's not. I feel like you could have went for a sequence at in level three. We'll die for this. We'll still get the jab to seal the deal and put himself on game point, but we're closer to game point, I should say. We're game to game, round to round right now. Off here. Top side coming through. Nice punish counter on the parry. 
Take your turn back. Put the thousand hands. Let's go for the level three to take this lead. It'll be close to lose out on this drive gauge. I think we do take it for a burnout. No. Just oh, put right after. Drive rush stand fierce as an anti neutral jump choice. Gets a low two as well. There you go. Mangle under okay. Sensor. I like that he's caught on to escape and go both the neutral jumps to call up the headbutts. Mm -hmm. Let him whiff or maybe get like a jump medium kick punish. But he's got that driver stand fierce to stop and stuff that from happening. Mangle on game point and now find a punch into a sweep raw. Can't be doing that, my guy. Good shot. Good parry call out here. And again, that's the gamble we're taking here because every time after a headbutt, Escaping Jail goes for that drive rush to try to force a punish, whether it be with button or throw. So Mangle gonna have to play that guessing game now. Get down. Okay. Woo! That's right. He's in the corner. Jack awkward angle, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe an awkward angle where that was gonna reach. The back. It's a butt slam to land. The pick up, of course, with punish counter. We get the follow up, but oh. still, he wasn't blocking. He, uh, yeah, you're dropping. I don't know what he thought he was doing. Wake up, maybe he thought he was already dead, but. Let go of the controller, and Mangle think, take advantage of that. Oh, absolutely. I think Mangle is like, oh, no. And then suddenly, oh, yes, I am a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Unfortunate. Ooh, I like that space trap. Ooh. Go for a button, get swept off the feet, and there we go. Just cool conversion. Maximum upper. Maximum amount of damage, too, as well. OD, overhead this time? Yeah, of course. Yeah, bless the dome. Chris in the cranium. That's a grip of damage you should be killing here, getting around on the board. No, just to squeeze away. Oh, this is not good. With a level two on deck, Mangle. Slight breeze, oh, slight breeze. Yo. Yeah, and actually still having drive gauge, so important here. Now that escape jail just got drive back. Oh, late jump, tragic round of peace. The fireball covering a lot of room up on the screen. Hard to kind of just jump out of things. Finds a stand here, starter as a shimmy tool. Gets so by Ender up in the corner. Wish the throw still has the time to stay fine to get that anti with the jackknife. This time blocks it out. So it's a sweep. Pull it again. Time and time again, every interaction. Mangle thinks there's a throw opportunity there and escaping kill. Just breaks the ankles with the funky slicer. Two all in the set. If a DJ player ever tells you that the character is not ridiculous, just point out just cool like a punish counter is ridiculous. And even as a poke, it just makes you hesitate. You're like, dang, I can't oh, yeah. count anything right after, dog. Like, you're so afraid of any exchanges when he goes for that sway play. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Like, so much of DJ's play he really tries to force out a reaction. I mean, that's how the character is built. But trying to understand properly of when the opponent is actually going to commit to those commands, that's the scary factor, and that's where Mangle keeps getting opened up. The back throw. Big opportunity for Mangle, but the overhead blesses the dome. Oh, trying to go for the shimmy, but the yeah. jump back saves the day. Mangle on set point. Finish it. Nice. It only took three games, but Mangle recognizing the neutral jump on the shimmy. Slide here, you know, walk up for a, just go for drive rush this time. But we see a more neutral jump here from Mangle on these interactions. Oh, late jack lane. Nice! Punish counter gets the fall. Drive rush in for the low. With the toes, goes with the empty low again. Right close command grab. And now you're thinking about what to do after this because this is damn near death. Level three in the bar, the drive gauge. There's ain't gonna be nothing left besides a sliver. A little bit. Oh, he no baited shot. out of the action. Boy. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, Sit no. down, bro. Mangle with the slash chop against the chest to put him to rest. Fantastic stuff right there. I like that little jab. Another like, hey, one of those annoying characters. Like, to the point that I'm like, it's interesting to not see a player like Knuckle Dew kind of implementing this character as well, right? Just the way that Dew plays Cammy. I'm like, certainly it seems like another character you might play here as well with that type of style. But yeah, Zach Boz, we'll see how they handle the Cammy play from Joe Wu. That's interruption. I like that. Mm -hmm. Sue so find a, a fantastic push. Understanding punishes off these, uh, you know, errant, you know, specials. Has to be a way to play as this game's meta evolves. And we see Zach Box already locked in. Fireball, drive rush in for the low. Ground throw, side switch. John Wu has some cough in the corner. You crouch fierce to kill that drive gauge. Oh. Fucking mm -hmm. side switch is buff, so I get it. Beautiful call on the fireball. 
spinning bird. Definitely going to get punished. That was absolutely a reach there from Zach. I wonder if you we were just trying to catch the backside as well, just to gain distance, but also push the opponent away. Possibly. Yeah. Zach Long is going to have some handle on this matchup. It's like it's kind of mm -hmm. Does find the low, though. We're going to get that pick to put that level two. One of the best things about this is you get that corner carry and safe pick set up. And it will jump fierce. Yes, sir. Same jump. Go. Calls out the parry. Gets the extra bit of damage because that punch counter throw. Now you're in burnout. This is bad. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because it's going to be free follow ups of great jump cancel to the opposite side. Holding on to the block. Drive rush. Punish here. Just send it. Woo. Tech boss, that was smart. I like that side switch with it. Knowing that sequence wasn't probably gonna kill. Get that side switch, put yourself in a better position. Now listen, we're all even out right now. Right, finding anti-air. Beautiful jump fears from Cho Wu though. Great call, great button to utilize that jump fears. Underrated, I think. Underrepresented for candy players. Nice jab. Oh no, tried to spin the button. I think that was. Dang! Raw drop no. impact! Oh yeah, finish your plate. There you go. Cannon Unfortunate drop. Could have sealed the deal, but then cleaned it up immediately. You see him pressing buttons right after. And be like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got this one. No, just, just move on. Just move on. In your face, Kikoken. Nice crouch medium kick, but wasn't going to look at the stance follow up after. Overhead, yeah, bless! Cancel. Yeah, so he says cancel is fantastic. You get these overheads, these lows, and things like that. Cancel the throw. Yep. Well, part of what makes her super strong, but this is what makes her character strong, mm -mm. is the Oki with spiral arrow in. The Hooligan. Nice dive kick one more time. Excellent decision to parry there. Hooligan knuckle probably would have been stopped, especially with the stamp here. that work. Good anti-air. Yeah, the Hooligan conversion, but don't leave any gaps. I think that's why we see him stagger stepping to let that yes. super come through. Finally, stamp here is in two drive impact. Again, a, another shining example of why, you know, you don't want to run out of Drive Gauge, especially against a character like Kami, because she will lock you down with the uh, Hooligan Knuckle frame trap there. No hope to get out, especially for a character like Chun-Li. Yeah, you have to use Super to, to do so. That's what he's going to set. Thankfully, Zach, uh, Zach Box goes in the next round with a lot of bar. Uses it right now for that level two. Nice pickup. Hasn't caught from the corner. Facial kick ender, frame kill, hella meaty trade conversion. Did not finish his plate, but still. One more punish kind of throw, actually. Or just Ooh. a counter like off the medium. Throwing bows. Try to, try to, how does your arm move in such a way? Like, your rotator cuff is just very flexible, suddenly. Let, just. Bro, swing tongue, what do you mean? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's the same. Martial arts, bro. I, I you can throw it. fireballs. If you can throw fireballs, you can move your elbow like that, all right? You can move. You can just pop your shoulder out and just, okay. Bro, I want you to try to do that punch. Do the stand medium punch from Chun Lee. I'm talking to throw fireballs. <laughs> awesome. The overhead, so this is bad. Yeah. Burnout. Yeah, even, um, even though we jumped out here, still got the thousand leg kick here. I'm coming for you. The finish. Dang. Zach Fox. Chun -Li. This Chun Li is looking extra crispy. Catching these jump backs and things like that, getting the mm -hmm. punch counter with these lights, getting these follow ups. You have to do this character is being so aware of the punch counter. Just like this, this to get the follow ups. You have a great button that can stop and stop by dashes, great poke tool. You gotta make the most of it. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna ball splat, pick it up after, take to the skies. Nice safe jump set up as well after. Good stuff. Joe Wu not spending any meter to even try to risk getting out of the corner there either. It just kinda holds that. Yeah, and you see them, you know, not even going for like a parry at all because that option right. going up previously, so it makes sense like kind of rotate your options with Zach Box step ahead, the cross with people still once again these lights. Stopping and stuffing this character from coming through. Drive rush throw. Mm -hmm. Of course, having to spin that bar for the extra amount of Oki. Drive rush is in. Extra pressure. Careful of that drive gauge. In burnout. This is bad. Pop in the corner against the million leg kick of this Woo! character. Air throw drops him down to the ground. Wasn't even at the highest point of the apex of that jump. Oh, There's the impact. No. Level three easily. 
doesn't even need level three. This is luck. You died three times over. Not only did you jump at me whilst I was waiting, I put you in burnout. I'm gonna hold this corner. You're gonna hold this drive impact. Dang it. Dominus and Russo right now. Yeah. Fireballs are definitely helping out, but Keith Jab can burst this off a counter hit in a more follow up right after it. Ten show done very well too as well. These anti airs. Magbox looking way different than what they did previous. I mean, again, these normals for Chun Li are absolutely amazing, especially for counter pokes as well. Uh, you know, you can catch Chun or excuse me, Cammy kind of whipping out in neutral. Great air throw again too. Just so quick. Little bits of damage here and there go such a long way here for Zach Bob. Set point with the quickness, and again, Jung Woo hasn't really found a way to play. I, I want to see maybe more dive kicks or something, but yeah, ground right now. Zach Box is ruling and again it erupts. This time, the hooligan is spinning that level two for the full converts, the full pickup. Jump fears, safe jump setup, oh. and calls out the attack. Lazaltu in reset with the overhead. You're almost dead. Oh, oh no, he no. dropped, still gets hit. Okay, so some, so some. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no, but the finish. Okay. Yeah, didn't have the drive gauge to be able to close that gap. Big opportunity for Joe Wu, so we should be seeing the Hooligan Knuckles. Does get it with the wall flat. You really got to make it count, bro. There we go. Good start. Last interaction here, and that will be the round. Joe Wu taking it here. And again, all these jabs from Zach Foss really controlling the pace, shutting down the offense from Joe. This matchup so difficult. Here. Nice block in the overhead, by the way. Okay. Over the oh. corner. High kick does not get punish counter once again, making the most of these counter hits in punish counter situations. Pick up to drop him down to the ground. Double dash is in. Waiting for a DP. Nobody home just yet. Do not commit to any reversals as a rebuttal. They got bar. They got to spend the win. Let's the legs loose. Walk into the dive kick. Okay. Drop down, side switch. Again, trying to kill a limb. Impact does not hit. Oh no, you, that could not have been what they wanted. Yeah, you drop it. That is tragic right there. Zach keeping it simple with the finish here. 3-1 victory over Joe Wu. So, um, outside of like slow orb setups as well, you know, we've seen, you know, uh, Yurian being one of those characters, right, that has those slow setups that you kind of have to address and even, um, you know, the way that Rashid sets up these tornadoes, so difficult to deal with as a Honda player, for sure. I like these near the head rush. He's taking the turn back yeah. as, he, as he can. Gets the back throw, though. Drive rush overhead. Parry. I like that. Deny him. So it's advantage Whoop. still. That cyclone jump fears. Oh. Is, isn't he so cool up in the corner? He's amazing. But this is the problem. When they take the skies, you have to be picture perfect with those mm -hmm. anti right there. Then it just trust him. And he got the enhanced mixer here as well because he set the tornado right on top of you. Oh, big whip punish here. That almost got away from JP. Keep pressuring here. Absolutely. I agree with this spend entirely because with the chip away to death. Can't do too much. Keeping the frame tight and all right. OD to finish the job. JP using that SR even better than most of the C players do. I think he's one of the best at we capitalizing when he gets at level two. He's talking about building up that bar in, in general. I feel like this character is like a battery. They build up those levels with the quickness. Whoa, what a perfect carry here from Jewel Man. Gonna get that corner carry. And even JB tried to keep it at max range to be as safe as possible. It's that perfect carry coming through. Yo, in your face, a couple slams. No space jokes. Oh, he's trying to fade out of OD. Still gets a headbutt follow-up right after it. Oh, man. So I got quarter pressure too, bro. You threw. All evened out. Drive rush. Oh, you nasty son of a gun. I've seen him do that often. Drive rush and then an OD hand. Yo, chill. Oh, my goodness. Another command grab here. We're coming at you. Punish. Got to use OD to make that the uh, solid. To force the opponent to interact with this, and I love the eagle spike position right there because it bounces you right back into the tornado, keeps you safe even if the opponent ends up blocking it. I can't believe you hit that low. I can't believe that. That's the fault. That's the optimal stuff right there. Yeah. Uh, low. And it's difficult to do. You have yeah. to really optimize this character for the damage. He doesn't really have it like other characters. Yes, he has some sequences off. Oh, he was too close. Yeah. Jump. Jump like kick. Wow, that hurt wow. Interesting. Here we go. Level three. We'll wrap it up. First game for Jewel Man. Okay, 
Oh man, might be uh, making a little bit of an upset out here. And again, hard to understand what he wants to do with this character. He'll take the headbutts off the table and play neutral with the drive rush. Let's play neutral with the drive rush. But you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Utilizing the buttons with drive rush mediums and things like that. You know, what he does even round start is hard to read. I like that variant. It's like trickery. The Honda. Right. Now we're in this corner position. That was very difficult for JP to get out of in the last game. Nice dash of throw with the enhanced dash. Jeez, the clap. Game delay, maybe gets to like fireball. So he's up. Let's jump. Heavy kick, of course, off the cyclone. Impact, there we go. And again, JP, one of the things that he was talking about, uh, they got clipped on at least, was talking about that mental stack. I like to overload different characters and things like that. I think he right. that in every single matchup. It's a great job of it, but Jewel Man. I think that's awesome help to play with and drive game. Jesus Christ. All right. Done for you here. Full screen situation. We are burned out. JP does have level two on deck if we want to. And unless if we get Jewel Man in the corner, I don't think we're going to see it. But this perfect parry on the dog slide. Nice optimization. Did enough to kill in that corner situation. That was really good. Didn't even have to spend a level two. Yeah, I would have did it too. I would have been level two immediately. But he saves that bar for the next round. Already on the verge of level two. To equalize things or get a kill with it. Dominant yeah. in the neutral with that. I, I so. mean, that was that was such a smart movement option from JP in general. Because of that sequence there, you force Jewel Man to make a decision in that corner. You're losing ground because you're trying to avoid this level two situation. So you have to make an action. And betting it on headbutt is a safe one here, but JP making that immediate read on parry. Now this corner situation, locked down with another level two and immediate overhead. Not able to get the confirm yet, but there we go. That's a kill. Damn. Yeah, be able to sneak in those equal spikes are what will do like, the most amount of damage with Yasar, and I like that he understands where to implement those. You saw the little frame kill into the spike. spike. got the pop too as well. Calls out the Stampede's round start. Oh, he had but the route and back to get the heavy hands. He is able to check and challenge that drive rush coming in. We get the full extension, but we're close enough to get to the corner. Ooh, early release on the parry. That's unfortunate there for JB. Noosh needs a fireball. That's the problem, you know, trying to go through his headbutts, his fireballs. Stopping that approach. No mixer. This is bad. You're in burnout, so you have to get aggressive. Yeah. Right? That is unfortunate for Rashid to be in burnout in this situation here, especially against a Honda, because for the exact same reasons. <laughs> I love the walk back from Rashid on this. He's like, help! Help! All right, man, take it easy. It was just for the stream. Just for the stream. This man's cheeked up! <laughs> Jeff, please! <laughs> I'm gonna get banned. Air throw drops him down to the ground. Backs up for the SR. Of course, yes. you're a Brother. Let's see that defense. It's gotta be picture perfect right now. Impact. Does he? Because he was a block stun to drive impact. If he would have timed it maybe a little bit later or just sooner, because he was a block stun, he wasn't able to get that drive impact. It don't work, chat. Because I've done that so many times, I'm like, wait. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It'd be too cheap. It'd be too cheap. Such a frame perfect interaction too to find the opening to not get the lock for wall splat like that is hard especially with Bizarre on top of it. it really be your own tornado. It really be your own. And right now, Zoom Man has a call from the corner. Nice interruption. At least able to get that counter to jump back jab headbutt gets the grab right after free hugs. He's that type of guy. Zoom Man. What the fuck the winners? He's on game point against JB. Yes, indeed. I think, oh my goodness, if only we would have waited for, because one thing we don't see JB do often uh, with Tornado is kick it towards the opponent, uh, which is another way that Rashid can kind of interact with that a little bit faster. So we set that in the corner, and honestly, Jewel Man would have had to hold that, and you would have been able to chip out a little bit more in that situation here. But this corner position for Jewel Man, dominant, back and burnout we go. I like that. The area right there. This woman trying to cage Ooh. him in. The jail, no bail. Perfect parry. So there's the fault. The side switch. Yeah. Frame kill in the throw. Yo, Southpaw's done that to me so often. I'm like, bro. Oh, this is <laughs> so nasty. We bait. No, we got hit with the super. The Jewel Man playing like he got bar. He's playing like he got cash to spin. And he's actually almost back with. Yeah, there's a drive gauge. Deep cross up. Get slapped up. Honda can handle slaps, but I guess not for Rashid. 
Yeah, it sits right yeah. on top of it. Oh, he did it wrong. And it didn't work out. Made the throw happen. That strike though, so nasty from the corner. Wrong. But I mean, it makes sense to get a bounce back. Exactly. That's the call out that we made earlier at the beginning, right? Of just the way that JB sits on top of it to do the unsafe things and put himself themselves right back on top of Tornado and remain safe there. Nice air throw overhead. Cyclone, heavy mixer. Si oh, you thought it was a side switch? Nah, the trickery. Who did it? You can't even see me. Frame kill again. No anti, but looking for the perfect parry. Oh, trying to get oh. off the wall jump. Wasn't able to, but the drive rush confirmed. All in the set. Good run between these two. Actually, medium kick. I feel like he used that button better than any other Rashid player. Like, it's such a good entry point button with punch button yeah. and starter. Like, he is really about that. And also, parry against anti-airs have been working out for him, where he doesn't believe heavy mixer will. Yeah, nice perfect parry there from Jewel, man. Use the JP putting in those perfect parries. Mm -hmm. I do that when you have the best defense in the business now. Runs a command grab. Extra two for you. That's extra chunky. Perfect parry. Get that knockdown. Charge up with the fireball. Just get that jump and the crouch fierce follow up right after. Brain track. It's a mix up. Mix up. We well, even told you what was coming. It's a mix Brain up. Kill. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, nice rush with a jab, too, to shut it down. Driver's jab from this character is mad good. His, he's got a really good jab. You put drivers behind it. Yeah, four frame jab. Goodness. Hitbox on the man. I see it. Oh, but now, the parry was also good. Get that grip and now level two. Clips him. Then heavy kick. Oh, the DP lift off. Stop. Overhead again. Whoa. And it still have more in the tank, JV. Taking him down from the corner continuously. And again, that is where this character can get nasty. Much like Cam and other mix of characters that play. $33 in the Macharino chat. Let's run it like that. Can we get a little bit more from there? Can we get to like 100? If you got some scraps, send it to them to show support for their great play. All the way through, we've seen a lot of variety. We've seen Honda, Aki. Ain't gonna get anywhere else like this. So drop a little bit of love. If you don't have no cash, it's A-OK. -okay. Put the sponsor quest down, all right? On the left hand side of the screen, run them, and uh, keep running some more action for you. Yes, indeed. All right, got poison up here. Nice, jump in. Jeez, good tech. Yeah, that's a scary situation. We just slide on out of there. Forget it. I don't want to deal mm -hmm. with the damage in this corner. The scoop step. Now all the hits connected. Drive rush, aim, jump, fears. Oh, no. Find the Gladius. He burn out. This is bad. It's one touch. No crouch for his anti air, but the perfect carry. Even with the scaling, it's still scary. That's enough to kill. I just want to see Quadriga hit the, the snake slide. I know it doesn't, and there's no way it would because of right, y'all decide. Giggle <laughs> yeah, yeah. get that. Unless they nerf the character, it's just not going to happen, I, I bro. I just want to real bad. I need somebody to put on the tins and just stomp Aki. Like, oh, slide up Aki like this, please. I mean, 801 Strider's girl got these size 17s. They trying to get that hit, but the slide has definitely been avoid from the situation. Did not avoid that target combo, the knockdown close. You see Dipo trying to get back to zoning. It's hard, because you have to go for like OD. Normal Fireball has a lot of recovery. You have to use like Lash, but you can't do it too close. I think in this matchup in particular, uh, Dipo definitely gonna go for, you know, just to hit the burns, get the poison applied in this way too. Level three to extend it just a little bit longer here. Magnum Opus, at least to get some distance and also somewhat of a lead and kill that drive gauge more importantly. There it is. And Burnout, this character could definitely be real nasty to give you a call from the corner. Stand medium punch starter here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Versus Super. No, no, we wait, we bait, we decimate. Good try, good try though. But yeah, that was the perfect setup right there too, honestly. Go for the poison initial injection, right? So then you get that full screen presence at the level three. You set up the poison puddle on top of that for Strider to make an interaction. Nice snake slide punish here. I feel like that's such a strong weakness against Marissa in particular. She stays grounded. Yeah, I mean like she gets kind of blown up by low, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. He's low profiling. But all it takes is like you know, a couple sequences from this character. Look at that Barbie oh, built up the no. side shimmy. 
Oh, Magna Buster trying to get the fault. Snake step out of there. Still punished. Diablo can do this. It'll be difficult. Look at that bar at the bottom. Level one and two. You don't want this. You want level three to cash it out to get that kill. No, oh. they skewed him. Marisa. Oh, Hands up. No. He said full guard. Full guard. Pushback. 801 Strider able to keep pace and pace with this character. I like it. Driver stand fierce. Charge up fierce too as well. Killing that drive gauge. I have to be careful. Nice. That's a very fortunate drive rush there for Daifo. Crouch lights. There we go. Nice pickup after as well too. Reapply poison. Again, so much damage is just the potential. Because one, you got the command grab. You're still stuck in the poison. Yep. Or roundhouse. Okay. OD to keep trap. Finds the anti right there. Particularly with their antires when they hit, though, they real nasty. Cancel, command grab, dying with some dirt. Oh, now Strider ain't done. Oh, takes a throw. Mm -hmm. Too far out, though. That stand medium punch. Great poke. It's a poke to these fists, though, or this grip. Punch is oh. oh my god. I saw Skewdo and I thought, oh no. Diaphone has to make the most impeccable decision. Drive impact. I didn't even think about it for a good second. I saw death before the doors. I wonder if light, the, the, like the kick bump would have worked, but still. It should have, because it's a low eat, yeah. Yeah, yeah look at that one later. Mm, nice. Nice. Of course, the OD fireball. It forces you to make a decision. You want to hold down on blocks, you try to jump, and you get dropped down to the ground with the anti-air right there. Diaphone build up that bar for that level three. Closer and closer. Ooh. Yo, I would have broken out of that throw uh, in real life. What are you yes. doing with my arm? You just, what is, get off of me. Well, I would have simply, I mean, they could, if they want to, they could try. Anyway, you about to fly. <laughs> level three. <laughs> you up for level three for this? Ah, uh, will you spin the bar? Uh, yeah, because you put something burn at that point. You spin the bar, get the kill, keep yourself in the game. And also, of course, put yourself up around in the game right now. Looking not too bad. Not dead yet, though. Hold up. Yeah. Over. I was gonna oh, say, now it is. Cola, if she killed off that level three, mm -hmm. I'd be like, yo, Aki, he needs buffs. <laughs> like, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know about that one either. I'm just saying, that's what you're putting out in the ether that she would have killed 70% right there. You relax. I think you might be an Aki player. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, find no. Out. Let me look at that CFN. We'll check Ciro's CFN after this and see if he's an Aki player. Because we have to buffs right now. The damage is all buffed up from Muscle Mommy. Nice tech. I can't believe it. <laughs> what do you do? You see someone crawling at you like that, you gotta get the sweeps. You gotta put, you gotta tread on them, bro. That's the end. Mm -hmm. Put the boots Marisa on them. Wins. Yo, Strider, though, taking advantage of every opportunity he gets. And again, I feel like he's not leaving anything to chance in terms of letting anything that would be blown up low not get caught like that. Very smart stuff. He's switching it up in the wow. That works. Gladius OD clips that lash. That's a zoning tool and it got clipped. That's like a great neutral tool. Okay. Write that down, chat. Write that down. Don't write that down. You didn't see it. <laughs> okay, good. Wake up, Jazz. Very smart call here. Put the perfect parry on overhead with the stand roundhouse. Put you right back in the corner. We should see a puddle set up here. No? Okay. Put your right set up. We take it. We got it. Yeah, like the setups. But again, Gladius clipping the light lash. That's kind of crazy. It's like Daifo can't initiate anything without like staying medium punch. And without that lash, there it is right there, but not consistently enough. It's being problematic. Still finds a confirm for the super and stay on set point. Daifo. Right. Diaphone getting the point of the board, poisoned up. That's enough of a threat because we got that burst. And plenty of room for Diaphone to get set up. And that's the risk, too, of just, obviously, Marissa doesn't want to jump. And the damage that you get from poison over time isn't enough to really just put yourself in such a risky situation that you would jump in on Aki like that. But now, Diaphone with the complete control on the east side. Let's back off. I don't play me. No drive gauge. So low. I think he's going to finish that combo. Maybe I'm wrong, but still. I think he's looking strong for him. He's got the level two for me, B, to kind of get that kill from long distance, or he'll stay CQC compact. If I have to jump in just like that, Diaphone. Now picking up the phone. He said, hold up now. Let me answer. I was I was leaving on red for a little bit. Now I see the phone call. I'm going to pick up. 
You know he's starting to pick it up, though. Right. He, he hates that joke. He hates the joke. You know what I said to him? He hates that Die joke. better. I told him he better call it quits on commentary <laughs> once. That probably was started. My bad, Diaphone. But Di also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that though. <laughs> I never heard it before. Wow, that's an amazing wow. joke. Keep doing it. Great. Expert, expert bar. Say, expert bar. All right. Try to get the, the jump down heavy punch. That's a mouthful. <laughs> All right, empty low. The crouch light punch is not falling off. I remember that being one of the weaknesses of the character. Some of these lights don't always fall off. It's like crouching light punch over and over again. All these heavy buttons are definitely following up. Stagger stepping, trying to find something sequences. Dive out of there. Falls the fireball. Strider stained up. Woo! It's explosion. You talked about some follow ups. Yes. Dealing out that damage. That's so important there for her, like, damage output in general. You apply poison to your opponent. As long as you get the explosion follow-up, you're looking at upwards of 30% damage per combo here. But, look, Marissa doesn't need to worry about all that. She just needs a single hit. Right, you're right. Jesus. Gladius. I want to see more of that. Look at Gladys working out. Right? Shredder's kind of caught on to that. Like, Lash don't work out in the makes that you like it to. Exactly. Go for the Gladius. Get the command grab. Punish counter. Kill some of that drive gauge. A block off. Air to air right there. Drop him down. Oh, oh, you'll take that trade. You saw him call up in the corner. Yup. Yeah. Right, he's sliding on out here. Yeah. Gonna have to deal with this one here. The Gladius. Good call. Drive rush to hold the plus frames here. Just keep staggering. Oh my goodness. The them throw. <laughs> and there's still a threat of level three. Still had level three. Strider. Starting to understand that matchup, and uh, I think it's also because on his stream, I saw him playing a little Aki too. As well. He'll do donkey kick and then DP right after. You'll get hit every single time if you know. Even if you know what's coming, you're like, oh, whoa. Like, why would you, you do that? Oh, okay, cool. It's a rebaster right there. Follow right. my lead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to see Yo, this. for the sub. True neutral between these two characters here. And of course, Paladin. Fireball game. The patience that we saw the last time Paladin was on was huge too, especially with these follow-ups. The stand fierce, being strong here, but the reach on Cami alone, we're probably gonna see a little bit less of that coming from Paladin. I like these fireballs as, a, as like a challenge against the dive kick, you know. Right. Any space, great fireball game. I mean, you have to have that if you're playing the fireball characters besides JP. Nice. But, finds the anti right there, gets a knockdown. Needy overhead, so not to do. Able to slip in with the crouch and kick and the side switch off the hooligan. Perfect, Perry. Let's get back to the corner, back to real business. Shot, medium punch there. And again, finding that perfect space. You're going to back off, throw the fireball, and stay out of range of that stand medium kick from Knuckle Doof. It's going to poke to him, stopping some of the fireballs preemptively. Donkey Kick gets the hit. Drive Ooh. rush. The fate, the light punch, punish counter. Double Hasho Geki into the DP. Dang. I know Lucas is writing it down in the background, bro. You're like, you do that? Okay, cool. Paladin with a <laughs> micro step backwards Ooh. away from Knuckle Dude. Like, that was the tiniest of shimmies, but went for miles in that round. It worked out. Oh, here's a shimmy, though, on the side of Knuckle Dude. That corner character, the drop down, meaty, but this is the button right after it seems like. Back throw. Nice. Oh, now getting a medium right after. Hacho Keki. No, he actually just stocks up the dungeon. Whoa! Counter hit follow up, no way! Level three, Paladin! Ryu there to get this level three confirmed. Jeez Louise. Holy hell. That was tight. Usually, that command normal is okay. But yeah, yeah, you get yeah. that counter hit play. Oh, god damn. Paladin. Ooh. Okay. That, that's the four round, excuse me. My gosh. I'm used to the evil yeah. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of four mediums and, and four heavy kicks and things like that, we're seeing the switch to Guile. He's like, mm -hmm. okay, enough, enough, enough. It's time to, it's, it's time to clock in as the family man. <laughs> oh no. I got kids Shoot for you. you. <laughs> I can't, I can't lose. I can't lose. You don't understand, I, it's my job. I got a family, oh, Ryu. You know, you know what that, no, of course you don't. You wear sandals, don't have a job. Must be nice. Why in the world doing what you want to do? I gotta put food on the table. What do you know about that? I gave up so much for my country, my kids. Ryu, what about you? What'd you give up? You're like, hey man, I just wanna throw 
just throw hands, man. I still throw hands, bro. Like, we're, we're yeah, trying to try to press we're button, bro. Don't try to press on me, bro. Let's just, let's just fight it out. Well, I like this dude to switch up. Able to keep up these fireballs. I don't think the cami option was bad. Dang, no. caught the donkey <laughs> kick as a reaction to flash kick. Oh, this is looking personal. Yeah, this is looking rough right now. Drive gauge depleted. Another flash kick. This is what you gave up. Your, your drive gauge and your life. Definitely better than that inside more than tank. Knuckle do back in business. He was like, hold up now. Let me do it with Guile. Got the Sonic Boops. And uh, honestly, it's not just any Guile. His Sonic Boop pressure is so hard to read. He got the very, he knows what to do with the buttons too as well. Not just about the booms, it's about the buttons. Still finds a jump in Paladin. You stand fierce, cut him walking back. Nothing after that though. Shut down by the black. Ooh. Sonic he hit board. that stick. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh. Level three. Put that foot out here near me. All right, it's time. You're Wiping done. off the shoes. And the bought the white paladin down the losers. Four medium kick, but it's not over though. Paladin's got a long road ahead of him. And even worse now, he's in burnout. Yeah, what do you do? What do you do? No pun intended, but what do you do with that situation? You're in burnout. Yeah. Can't jump, can't sit on the ground, you just well, check me. See, Paladin needs to activate Iron Will to even last a little bit longer too. That will help you boost your defense, also boost anonymity. But it's really dependent upon your white mage or healer in the background that's going to be helping you out throughout this uh, encounter. But once you get through in range, you're going to be just fine. You like that Tatsu. My man did pull off the Sonic move. <laughs> Lucas, I made Paladin in Final Fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, once you pop that Rage of Halal, though, it's going to be great. Make sure you extend with Spirits Within, too. That's the important one. That's There's the a name called Spirits have. Within? Yeah, You're there, that me. is. That's the only only time Final Fantasy has ever used Spirits Within and never used anywhere else. That's a lot because they had a great movie. No, I don't know what that was fantastic. <laughs> the movie was great. What's great right now is Knuckle Doo trying to keep that mid range game. See that 4 meter kick finds the anti right there with the Crouch Spears. You're almost in burnout. This is bad, but I like Paladin trying to fight back. Get a little preemptive with the counter hit fireball right after. Stan Fierce. Knuckle trying to walk in. You can't walk in against this guy. He's so ready and steady. Again, tail as old as time for Ryu in Street Fighter 6. But the crouch medium kick is also getting a ton of mileage here, of course, from God. And you can't really throw it out like you would for Paladin because that upside down kick mm -hmm. will crush it. So that's why we see that continuously. And the Sonic Boom continuously has been a buffet of moves from the side of the Oh, the. I like the parry though to keep that bar from the side of Paladin. And to slowly walk his way in. And a jump in though. They like not need it to be honest. Ground gameplay is fantastic. OD to cut through the fireball. OD on the side of Paladin to put him in the corner. Yeah, gonna wanna pop hollow ground right here. Big jump in. <laughs> Here. Again, frame just for Paladin with the stun. Make this one count. You see there? That's the activation of Circle of Scorn. We're not in the listen, we're not in the retirement home just yet. Oh wait. <laughs> Hold you finish it! Go finish your plate! Throw! There you go, Paladin! On game point! Bro, his corner pressure is insane. And you don't typically think about that with Ryu, like you really don't, but he's able to get off like stand light punch, even the counter hits overall, any of these buttons, and calls out the Sonic Boom with the Tatsu to get close. He's been finding ways against the maze of the wounds. It's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's, being able to stand in the face of danger like this is a true testament of skill. Like, <laughs> that is insane. It takes work. There's reward. Okay. Yeah, absolutely nice. Crouch jab here on the rush. Okay. No, that he was still blocking Ryu. You're wrong. He would have opened it. Hey, nah, man. He, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. Light kick, not punish too close for comfort. You don't typically see people punishing Dragon Bank, and it's kind of crazy. Light mm -hmm. kick, definitely the way to play against that minus situation. A super to cut through the impact. Hello. There wasn't even a noise. You just went light kick. I would send it. It's one Balance. touch. Finish it. Can he finish it? Knuckle do. Overhead impact, that's a wrap. No health to play with, and he what? recognized it. Well, imagine a Ryu move on, bro. The, the Twitter can't handle it. The Twitter cannot handle it. Thoughts. With, bro, it looked close enough to me, too. 
Drop! Oh, he went for Crash Fierce there. Unfortunate to knock down with the OD. Came up in the corner now. Sonic Blade a bit more. See something different with the Sonic Boom. See Sonic Blade stuck in every so often to switch it up. Now the OD cuts through the normal Hadouken. Give me some room. I want out of this corner. Back it up. Burnout. This is bad. Yeah. Flash kick right through the Luke, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, the first jump kick was definitely supposed to be a flash kick. That one here, finding the mark. Stadium set point. Knuckle do. <laughs> you see the full oh. step forward? Because I know you charge it. Please. You see that Stamina kick counter hit, though. Again, making the most of every opportunity. Wow. Paladin. He has been like nine for nine against the fireballs with that flash kick to get some space yeah. up in this place. Oh, we're getting really a fault because it's that. perfect. Yeah, really wanted to try to force that donkey kick here, but Knuckle Dew is ready with the level two install after the fact, going for this burnout opportunity and does succeed. Just gonna keep chipping away. This is a nice little victory here for Knuckle Dew. Yeah, it's a bearing a burnout moment right here. Flash kick Ow! at the tip. The tip of the toes waits and gets a punch with the top two on Fortune. Level one will get it done. Knuckle Dew. Playing some reactions to Paladin. He's been so on point because it is predictive. It is reactive combined for Paladin to run that Tatsu. He's been playing against those reactions now and finds a punish. Now game point. Both players go either way. That's punishable stand. Light kick play. Rush out, but light kick from Paladin. Another flash kick right through the fireballs, too. Just Knuckle Dew is on point for this timing. Goes to the stand roundhouse uh, ante here. It's a, it's a down kick right after. Again, you cannot throw fireballs at that range. It's making Paladin a little bit uncomfortable. See him doing Hasho Keki every so often to kind of like bait something out. Right. Like switch up his timings with the fireballs. Yeah. I now, like the pump space with that Hasho Keki, too, because Dew expecting the Hidoken, uh, wasting some of that parry meter. Oh. Rush confirmed. Stop. Oh, that one. is so nice. Look at that. Oh, that oh, no, to... Yeah, that light punch. Anything after that walk back. Now he's in burnout. Level two. It's a buffet of boobs. Yeah. Ryu, you're on a diet. The super should cut through. But no. No, you're kidding me. No. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Let it be us. Let it be us. It was double KO. No, you'd still win. That was the old rules, right? Like, double KO would just be... Both players still got around, and one person would end up winning. Yeah, I think so. New rules, I think it's like it's just like it's the games. Game. I believe. So. Been a while. Been a while. All right, knuckle do it. Around fires a sweep off the feet against the stand pierce. I like that whip punish. Puts him in the corner with the sonic boost. Keep it immediate and switching up with the OD every so often. Yep. Nice medium kick. Push back as far as we get. Nice upside down to follow up too, because we got the counter hit. Oh, bro, this is bad once again. Burnout, booms, buttons, all knuckle yeah. do. One more hit. He's got the level one to get some space up in this place, but OD, oh. drive rush, oh. see the four medium kick. Oh, man. No. The jump in. Yeah, that's tragic. He's knuckle do not committing to staying on the ground right there, and, you know. Bet it all on the Hidoken. Could have been a sure you could opportunity instead, or just a standard anti air. But that, I thought we were going to get another nail biter like immediately after. Like, all right, right. I got the level one. Let's get the full push. Follow and then me. just what if Paladin made that comeback? My goodness, what a heartbreaker. Yeah, but not heartbreaking to see some support. More hips, less shoulders with the sub. Thank you so much for that. MK1 run at CEO Taku. Um, Actually, just one of the most exciting matches of that top eight, too. Definitely check that out. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Back to Punk on Cami to start things off. Yeah, I mean, that's the character he's been known for the most in terms of. He can play everything, but, like, you know, I think this character really fits his style. He's taking it far. He has, like, the kind of Cami that just just walks you down, puppeteers you up in the corner continuously. And right. it feels like you're just damn near helpless. Oh, this one does actually qualify for top eight, the winner of this one, so. OD side switch. The best part about that is you get that side switch outside the corner of the spin some of that bar. As a reversal too. Real good option. Medium. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Joe getting cooked up, trying to even walk in. 
it's tough because we did see too that quick jab from uh, Punk, not only gauging the distance but also checking the approach from Joe Umarogan on that one there. Right. Roundhouse for uh, medium kick from Joe. Excellent space between the two. Punish counter. Not the best conversion, but hey, you'll take this. And the back, though, more important to that positional advantage, that room to walk back to sing out the fireballs. Maybe DP to get the dive kicks or find a whip punch against that stand. Heavy kick, try for a shim with the stand fierce. Right on the shimmy. Ooh, it's a fireball with his face. I take that as opposed to just a, a counter hit off with that drive rush, though. If that's the full stop that I get, fine. Yeah, you're right. Oh, there's a crouching light kick. Snuck Ooh. in to get the win. You gotta worry about standing up. Because if you put down and sat down, Punk taking that round in the first game, that crouching light kick, much like Luke, it was in the sequences. Great as an opener. And Punk closing out with that level three. Damn. Excellent. Punk here for the first round. Jesus Christ. He got caught reaching with this crouch medium punch here. Do a cannon spike here. Get back into the corner. You're holding it. Big lead on the drive gauge as well, too. Yeah, that's why we maybe didn't see Crouching Mini Kick Drive Rush from Side of Joe. Try to get himself outside the corner. He'll do so by just jumping out, not getting a DP. Backs up anti right there. He does find the Crouching Medium Punch, jumping out. Some damage. Fireball DP, rising upper. Get down or impact. Oh, hold on now. Joe level one. No level one. Oh, bro, and you're a burnout. Yeah, that's tough. All right, what attack here? I think it's because we missed a couple of the perfect flash knuckles right there. We didn't get the full extension that Joe might have been looking for because you don't spend the drive impact like that unless you know you're going to get the kill for sure. And yeah, Joe certainly needed it there, but found it in that last interaction there. Yeah, at least able to keep some of that ball. That is a benefit. Yeah. yeah. Right, push him to the corner. Just is in and now gets a whip punish. Caught him walking back with a crouching medium punch off the backboard. Here we go. Chaser okay. for some Oki. Yeah. yeah. I like that slice. Oh, Oz through the middle of the screen, though, as opposed to carrying a little bit further forward. Oh, no. Whip punish nice sweep. Punish. I Deep know. for the dive kick. Oh, man, hit a meaty too. Oh, he's so nasty for that. The super no level three yet. Will catch the shimmy, the finesse, and bless. Put him to rest. No bar necessary. Punk optimal, even if he's going to get the kill. And the great thing is, goes to the next round, close to level three. Crash medium punch here. So careful is Joe Umarogan, which is pretty interesting to see because normally Joe Umarogan plays a little bit more of a aggressive rushdown style, but here against Punk, we're look, treading the waters carefully here because Punk can be pretty explosive. Massive life lead here for Joe. You might ride this momentum. Walk up throw. Got the medium oh, yeah, take this. Normal DP, it's been any far. Walks back Ooh. to the shimmy. OD fireball to make him fall. Joe will be Rogan, evening things out. And having that big lead after that level three was very smart. Yes. She's nice. Just taking a step back. Yeah, committed punish, to the target combo. That's unfortunate. Yeah, because it's a punishable string. Unfortunate. Critical combos. I like to see that. And goes for the chaser, Oki. The great thing about Luke is that he's doing his perfect nickel combos. He's gonna get a lot of Oki and not having to spend a lot of drive cage compared to other characters. But when he does, he's gonna dump out and deal out that damage. Look at that. No level one to get it done. All nothings. Too slow to say. Well. It's a, it's like your opinion. <laughs> it's like your opinion, man. Dive kick almost lands. Looking for a crouching medium kick, possibly. Ooh, we found a whip on us, though. Mm -hmm. Charge up. DP Ender. Cross cut, of course. Throw a less. Love that. Love that. Face. We got a hooligan knuckle to close that gap because, again, a sandblast might be right behind that first one. Got the hit. Nice crouch medium for a whip punish. A very fortunate situation here for Punk because we're going to wrap this up here. I like that. Get persistent with the pressure to make them resistant, bro. To you know, throw anything at all. Punk and Joe game the game round the round. Let's see what's going down. What's going down is all that health game. That crouching with Kickstarter and these perfect level combos again. A level three sort of situation we saw previously. We hit that level three. Got a big lead. Will Puck get opened up on the shimmies this time? Good. Giving a little bit more room here for Punk. I mean, Joe 
trying to control that space. Like, you don't want to give up that corner, but Punk is exuding an aura at his pushing show out of it. Yeah, got him in the corner now. Drive go. gauge, getting built up because of the aggression that's coming from Punk. Mm -hmm. As he walks forward, you know, be pressing these buttons, that's going to build that drive gauge. Joe trying to get that chase down, that blessed jumping heavy kick. Ooh, we if that would have hit. Sim Roundhouse. Nice crouch medium with the spiral arrow. And what a big punish here for Punk. The opportunity was there, and we seize it to take the lead two to one. Locked on. All right, Punk not falling to the shimmy situations like previously up in the corner. Defense is better, calls are better, more informed. And again, to move on to top eight. Yeah. See what happens. It's not like Joe's been making this easy, though. Know? It's not even over. Dive kick to start the party off, though. Punk in that corner carry. Spiral arrow again. Get that open. Oh, that's a drop, but no punish off Joe. Yeah. A little bit too high on the crouch medium punch right there, so ended up falling out. Jesus, the full target combo. What a whip punish from Joe Umarogan. And let's get that corner position. Yeah, strike though right after that uh, target combo. Able to back him off, but only for a little bit. Side switch again off the hooligan. Careful there. Careful there, because Punk got that whip punish on it. The Lion, he flying ODVP for the finish. Punk on set point. And again, as you point out that Stan Pierce that's been uh, kind of blessing Punk every so often, he's been outside that range to find either crouching beat a kick with punish or sweep or another media brother. You can't even whip a damn thing in front of this dude's face. Let's not at all. The, that's the thing is like Punk is checking that space, that stand jab, right? And it also forces a reaction from Joe Umarogan because Joe is trying to fish out a whip punish there. But at that max range, you know that Cammy has a little bit further of a reach with that crouch medium punch, and we're getting it. But Joe is definitely going to get this level three and a substantial lead. It's like this time and time again as these games have gone on. Round one goes in Punk's favor, but round two, Joe puts on a world of hurt. It's not over. Like one, yeah, exactly. like one good combo. Never mind. Joe's fine. He's good. He finds his two keys. But it could have been like one combo into mm -hmm. the CA conversion. Let's see the deal. Go punk. Starting off strong, getting Oki right now off the spiral arrow, even against the back rise. Yeah, let's see if uh, Joe can kind of sway the momentum here in this round. It's starting out to look pretty good for Punk and a whip throw with the stand fears to follow up after. Big level three. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Close to that, bro. He got, no, 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 he's still alive. One more decision after this, though. Yeah. Up in the corner, Punk going to go into burnout. No! Waits for the DP, what? no punish. Yo, Punk, Punk with the no. T-Pack, no. Nah, man, come on. Look, and like I the said, down the... button's broke. <laughs> the down like button's I... broke. <laughs> like I said in the last game, there is a certain... There's a nah. certain aura that Punk is exuding in this set and is forcing Joe to not play the game that Joe traditionally plays. I don't know where you were at, game. but I'm glad that you're back. Now we're back in with some more action. We're going to actually have Adamon Strider and Zach Boss. By the way, y'all can also hit that match. Reno. It's looking a little immediate. You know, Lunch hit it up, juice it up, put some money in the bank. Please. Absolutely. We greatly appreciate it. Still have those sponsor quests on the side there, so definitely take advantage of those. Or direct contributions. Tweet it out. Let folks know that we still got this run here. Backs up. No, nothing. I'm going to say how you to work against the uh, spam punch. Here's a knockdown. Drive rush overhead. And pressure. Dang. It cuts through. Gets a punish counter, too, as well. With the Gladius. And some of that drive gauge. Nice corner position. The skewdom. The jump scare. Because you put the parry up. Knee! Look, Chun Li is just bold enough to take that knee to the face. Fortune. Strider doing everything with his gladius. I ever get caught. Brand dash in. The driver situation. The crushing kick stopping that. Now we need that pick at that level two. So imperative to her tool kick to keep the setups. Or you just get Oki. He actually went for the Oki. Tried to back up for the anti air. Yeah, Tensho, really hard to do if you're like backing up because the way that you have to. It's a different input than like a DP. Right, yeah, the down down and have your kicks. But yeah. also too, that was that roundhouse, right? And that body splash, just the angle of the hurt boxes on that avoided the roundhouse entirely. So Zach Ross in a troublesome situation. What a punish counter here from 801. You should be dead. No shot, my man. Actually punish that. It's definitely a wrap. Level three. <laughs> oh my god. That was god. He was outside that distance because you know Zach Box to use light, medium. The swift thrust, uh, command normal. 
to yes. check and challenge people from dashing in. They try to outside the distance, ready and steady with a punish. Punish counter, I should say. And puts the first game on the board. All right. All right, Strider. Yeah, in that roundhouse, trying to go for the phalanx is definitely a scary situation because you can go for the crouch heavy feet, uh, crouching fierce for a lot of characters here, but roundhouse being such a good anti air for Chun Li, it's generally just a not okay situation unless you have an invulnerable anti air option. Or like a, one that is like uh, active enough that it's going to shut that down. Because that armor, I forget what ar frame armor shows up for her. But anyway. Yeah. Nice. Uh, he, he, he showcase that. Um, I like this knockdown though. OD has a close to the corner. He just double dash in, doesn't have to spend drive gauge to get in. OD, I think we see OD bar spent from Strider for these Gladiuses and is glad to get that command grab. Where are you going? Dino's some dirt. Strider up a game in a round so far. Massive pickup. Quadriga to carry to the corner. Yeah, another nice. Gladius for you here. It's gonna be good against like up. the normals. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's gonna be good against like normals, like for fireballs and stuff. Cause that's actually gonna take some room back. But we do have level two. We do have the pickup. We have safe up setups. We have Oki. We have drive impact. Oh the dash up drive impact. So nasty. Nice. Keep plus in this corner. Whittling away. Watch out. Yeah, Gladius. That's the thing. In this matchup, Gladius is so strong because, yeah, sure, Chun Li has great pokes, great range, uh, can be very annoying, but against a character like Marisa, just Gladius, I'm going to take the first hit, that's fine, but then I get the big punish counter and I'm able to follow up right out. I wonder if pausing a little bit for Zach would be ideal, like letting it whip and then drive rush like medium or something like that. Right. Crouching medium kick. Just maybe like staggering in when he dashes in. He's up different. Nice call on the throw tech. Lazancho connects. Frame kill gets another throw. Close enough. That doesn't spend any drive gauge to get that grip. Backs off. Yeah, you looking for that Gladius or Superman punch. Go try to go for overhead reset here. Good block from Strider. Stand light. There Back we go. Off. Finally, backing off of that distance. Even maybe baiting that out and say, hey, do it. You know you want to. You know you're addicted to the Gladius. Yeah, you know you want to. Use that sword. Just do it. Drop it on. Sword. Drop it on. <laughs> Draw your sword, do it. <laughs> Draw your sword. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up, you're so strong. Okay, drive reverse, I'll back him up a bit. Zach gotta be careful, they're in burnout. They're close to burnout. Yep. This is why Shredder is Ooh. aiming for that. Does put him in burnout with that sequence. Carries That's... his bar. Such a big bet on that level one right there, my goodness, nice. Good neutral drop call out. Strider's been getting away with it a lot. I'm sure Zach has been taking notes. But this stun is disastrous here for Zach. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Knees all up in the gut. Seth going here. 801 Strider keeping it nice and beat up in the corner. No vegan. Love seeing the adjustments. You see him now walking forward. Less Gladius, more buttons. There's still Gladius there. It was not the only option. Zach aware to jab right there continuously to cut through the Superman punch. Yeah, so important. Is that, that activation is six, seven frames. Um, Actually, most of the white medium and it's nine frames on heavy. Pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. Set setup. Yeah. Whoop. Do that because level three is on that deck. Do not want to get deleted. Side switch. I like to get the knockdown sledgehammer. You have the patience. Oh, We're doing goodness. squats. So like, you got to figure out which one you're going to do because I'm hitting either one. Pause. I see you with the sub. Thank you so much for showing some love to the Prime. Oh, you not on level three. God. With the Hotu no Kin. One punch is all that's necessary. Still alive. But damn near dead at this point. And the crouch light kick to seal the deal. To catch him walking in. Even if you're not dead, you call up in the corner. She's got you with that jail no bail. So many ways to knock you down with like crouch fears. She can just stop. action. Yes. Top eight starts right now, and we're starting it off big with Knuckle Doo versus JP. This is a matchup that is like, was on paper not super fun, but there's ways for this character to fight. OD Fireball, or to be able to walk in, like we see from JP. You have to like, figure out how to deal with the maze of booms. Slide like this definitely works out against Sonic Cross. I like the anti-fireball play so far. Yeah, 
Ooh, walk back. Yo, that Rashid face just broke me on the intro. Like, Rashid, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to get you. Oh, burglarized. JP with the ODDP. Actually, that's a lizard man. Anytime you lose your turn, you take it back with the OD immediately. Giants try to actually reach out. I think that was crushed medium from Rashid there, but the overhead kick coming from the upside down kick, rather. Great kill. That's a throw. Again, you see what's coming in the corner. Yes, sir. Yep. Because now we can sit right on top of it here. Stay safe. Go ahead. Oh, that could have oh. been huge. Two for the first shimmy. Watch finesse. Not a lot less. Wasn't ready for it. right now with the fist. Oh, bro, oh, you never no. dead. Unfortunate. Oh, no. But we're out of drive beater. $50 from Tong never sleeps into the pot. Thank you so very much. You're too kind. Okay, got that shimmy that he went with that Stan Pierce. The throw. Nice. Pierce overhead. He burn out still. Side switch. Chip him out. Oh, no, unfortunate. Yeah, JB stopped the stop. All evened out, and Numbers coming through with a five. Contribution, not Yeah, that's a back-to-back -back contribution from Numbers. Look at that angle where he's trying to jump in, like where a flash kick a whip. Very smart stuff. Trying to stay as compact as possible against his character. Nice. Fake out. But yeah. No, you'll take that, you'll take that. A little bit of damage to leave the corner, and now hit him with the level three. Now the Sonic Stepper, fantastic. Get that lead, kill some of that drive cage. More importantly, have him caught up in the corner. Nice. <laughs> From the very top row. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know he could do that. Yo, Kyle is insane. <laughs> this character is crazy. Back fist, check my wrist. Goes for the chip, no dip with the flash kick. That's it. Knuckle do. <laughs> How did check he... what time it is for me, please? I can't read my watch. What time is that, Santa? I forgot my glasses. Time of your death, bro. Nah, come on. Someone clipped that, said that to me later. I need to. I gotta talk to Capcom about that one. That... You don't need all that. Guile has been practicing flash kicks for over 35 years. You don't think you can reach that height? I don't know, man. Depends on the addition. Oh, this is looking bad. Here's a perfect parry. Finally, come for JB. This is space. Let's get the side switch. Sometimes you see like the knockdown for the Oki. He gets a side switch out of the corner. Can you make the match happen? Yeah, definitely camp with the EX left. Jump into the mini tornado fireball from JB. We are in trouble right now. We talked about that fireball being like the entry point and called it out. Finds a flash kick. Anti-air is right there. Look at that, the sonic boom. Ruling on the neutral. You can see that drive rush right after for the anti-air crouch fear. Doesn't have to overextend right now. Oh, my gosh. The full stop. No throw attempt either, got jabbed out, and what a challenge series from Knuckle Dude to hold this corner. Go ahead, keep parry. I'll keep lights until you show me otherwise. I'm going to throw some kick, but still, lucky didn't win. Drive rush, takes a throw though. Gotta get in slides. Yeah. And, you know, that's an art thing to do. That's, that's more predictive. It's able to set up level 2 SR, push him forward so he can't just go for the parry. He takes a throw though. His defense is insane. Oh my goodness, the overhead though. EX Mixer to follow up after two. Take it back down. I can't believe that connects. Honestly, that's hard yeah. to do, chat. That is just a hard route to do. And four medium punch, a double halal. Actually, it's one serving, really. But still ends it with the DP. Answers in the roll to the lights. Ends it with the double mixer. Well space to get that 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 ball up right there. That's good from JB yeah. to dump out much damage as he can up in the corner. Definitely worried about that rush too in the corner there. That could have been disastrous if Knuckle Dude would have been ready for that flash right there. Get out of there. All right, level two. See how we handle this situation. Oh no. Back to back evil spikes. Oh, the whip throw. He tagged. The throw. JB, meaty fireball, OD flash kick, backs him up a bit. Have to be careful. Yeah, I, I don't mind this. Go for the super. Yeah. You're almost in burnout. JB knows how to play around there. Yeah, caught backed up in the corner here. Nice stand fierce from Rashid. JB gonna have to parry these. Excellent stuff because we got plenty of drive gauge back. The big jump in and wrap this up. It does one all in the set right now.
two come into the boom, the three now. JP equalizing things. A fantastic job of beating the, the boom rhythm and the rhythm of the buttons too as well. You see the state heavy kick punish counter, overhead block, but still plus after drive rush. OD flash kick, get some distance with it. Here. Both about even on drive gauge resource, just resources in general here. Nice slide. I feel like definitely starting to read that a little bit, try to back up to make that miss. Because it is like it is predictive. Gotta play perfectly. Perfect angle, yeah, because that kick was definitely within range here. But the EX flash kick to close out the round. The rip. Big leads where it's hard for JP to kind of run it back. And honestly, one of the things I feel like where she has a problem with is like without level two, making that comeback is difficult if you don't have it in the corner. And you're dealing with a character that has Sonic Wounds or Fireballs. To avoid those, you gotta spin some of that bar and it, it's a it's a right. it's a tough call. Oh. So 50% lead so far. And that's the trouble here is now navigating the space when you're low on resources. The toes? Gets the level two with dry brush after, but was able to get the full confirm. That was supposed to be kill for Knuckle Dew. Still can. Yes, sir. But equalize things. That level two still all juiced up. JP able to build some bar up, blocks it out, sends it. This is what you were talking about before. Send yeah. it over. Punish counter. Charge up fireball. Not even a fully charged one. He knows that's fake. I can't believe it's not Nyx. So I'm not tasting it. That was and, and what a risk there from J, JB, too, to go for the raw jumping without bringing the homie with you. Say, hey, I need the turbulent wins to help me out here. Yeah, the enhancement's great, but that fake out, I, I think, you know, Knuckle has been caught with that continuously. Yep. And knows how to just, like, just, just, just jab it out. Worth the challenge there, that's for sure. Some parries here, and this is what's kept JB... Uh, Away from taking some W's here. Just that full screen situation. JB has had a hard time navigating to close the gap here. And how do you against somebody who is just built to shut down so many other uh, fireballs throughout the game here? But this is a big blunder here from Knuckle Dude that's giving JB the momentum that they're looking for. Top in the corner. Mm -hmm. Gotta make the most of that. Four beat kick though. Ruling the neutral and the flash kick too. One more hit and you're through. You gotta be careful. If you're JB, it's one touch and. A lot of bar to play with to equalize and finds the overhead. Surprise, Knuckle Dude. Set point. Hands, hands with throw. Look, as many with throws that Knuckle Dude has been caught by JB. Doing work, but it doesn't seem to bother Knuckle Dude one bit. Not at all. Double two, you ran right into it though. Yeah, that's Some heavy kick. And you know someone like JB gonna optimize the situation, puts him in the corner. However, the back throw puts him in the corner. And this is bad, that same heavy kick level two could be activated. Go for level three for the like a fat lead. And then try to equalize things that way. Perfect spacing for JB there to avoid the cross medium kick. Nice. All the things you want to do, like drive us for heavy kick or even light are getting just stop sign by all these blessed buttons and the sonic booms and all the rhythm of the sonic booms too as well no anti right there wow did not see that from sonic oh the counter hit. yeah finish dude, dude trying to go for the stand roundhouse right there probably that level two activation we we're talking about earlier too he's me on set point and he blessed things and give us more games i want to see more He's, he says, I want to see more too, bro. There's a shimmy on that Stan Pierce. Doing work. Then heavy kick. There we go. Yeah, he sees the bar is damn near done. So goes for that chip out. For that chip, I should say. Jeez, nice interrupt on the rush there. Very important with the cross jab. Yikes, you committed to the fireball. That is unfortunate here, but not a big punish from Knuckle Dude quite yet. Gonna carry to this corner. What a challenge on the drive rush. Follow up, that's fine. Four medium punch starter. Knockdown for the Oki. Actually, it was for Yasar instead. Flip through. Oh, he went to the dash up, jab. Impact slips it in. With the bump jump medium. Oh, he'll go for the eagle spike. On point, JB. Burglar. He's in your fridge. He's in your house. He's taking it all. He's everywhere. 
Nice crouch fears to get the anti-air. It's been hard for Jamie to kind of jump. He does yeah. the fireballs out, double crouch fears. In fact, the skeptic gets a follow-up too. It's kind of nasty. Jeez. J Stop running into it, Jamie, please! It's hard, man. It's you ain't got them, them good buzz like you had in five. You ain't crouched for your stand fierce like you did before. You gotta get CQC, you see, you know, close range with it to enact some of that pressure. And he does so with those jabs and gets a throw. There we go, crouch heavy punch. A trade, but uh, a little bit in the favor of JB there to hold that position. Yo, they good call the overhead. I and buried. <laughs> I, I'm gonna stall right there. Like, all right, GG, bro. I said GG. I like that jump back too as well. One man's defense is insane right now. Watch the overhead, of course. Takes back his third. Armor scratching light kick. Was he able to get a follow? Maybe OD would have worked. Had a little bit more distance. More on the hitbox. Send heavy kick. Whip punish. Knuckle oh. do. Got him on the Sonic Steppers again. Close to the win. Nah, it is the win. Knuckle do. Got. Damn. He's good. Yeah, that would be it would be pretty strange to have a seven uh hanging out with you if you knew that information. Yeah, I get that. Uh punk versus strider. <laughs> okay, though, you you got me. I just <laughs> tired of you. Chad, you so <laughs> That was good, that was good, that was good, that was good. I like it. I like this match too as well. I'm curious to see we have seen these two play often. I'm curious to see how, like, you know, Strider is acclimated to the likes of, like, how Punk plays on the Akami. Uh, We've seen them in non, but now with a better character. I want to see how he operates. Oh my god! Mm. I think you ran into that. <laughs> you stepped you good? <laughs> Wipe your shoes off. Punk in a dominant lead. Gets a counter hit, interrupting the uh, Superman punch. No phalanx for you. Yo, the dive kick? Wait a minute. That was the lane two. You seem waiting for just a little bit. Waiting. Liberating. Looking for that counter hit and able to land it. Staying nice and close. To have that ability to like be compact against this character, I think is really good. Like you have to be mm -hmm. comfortable staying close, especially when you play Cammy. Like you have long yes. range buttons, but if you're trying to lean into a lot more like crouching media kick or sweep, like you gotta be at least close to mid-range. That's where Punk is. He's able to land that sweep right there. Whoa. Fading out the medium. You were saying? You gotta be real close. We'll watch my stand fierce. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Like trying to deal with uh, the range of Dr. Dead actually dead but yeah trying to deal with the the immense pressure that marissa can dole out in a closer uh, situation especially when you think about the skewdom opportunities like that is absolutely terrifying you don't get a follow-up off stan roundhouse from cammy so you're looking for the crouch mediums with pun like a player like punk fishing for whip punishes is so huge it's dangerous and i feel like he's even more so for whatever reason able to avoid these guidance also, the distance, finding whip punishes against that, against other normals. He's on form right now. Trade did not get the trade conversion. Stan Fierce too far out. Here's a knockdown. Here's Strider. Okay, all it takes a few sequences to equalize things. We'll have better buttons, but you do have a lot of damage. Oh. oh. Throw who? Not me. What do you grab? It? Demons? Oh, here we go. Crouching you to take the start the party off. Spiral arrow for that maximum amount of corner carry. Backs up. Perfect timing on the DP. Punk is so ready and steady with it. Strider again. Sees a few more sequences though. He's got a lot of bar to utilize. Goes at level three now. Won't use it, obviously, for a little bit longer. Oh, but still the whip finishes. It's so on point against Gladius. He gets the buttons. Now stagger steps. The buttons let all the hits connect. Level three, of course, and Punk punches in another win. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know I what? Just, tell me. Tell me. You know, it just I can't imagine the immense like I'm stressed out, and I'm not even playing uh, Marissa. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at this matchup and the way that Punk plays Cami. It just I don't want to do this to myself. Look at that. Stand Roundhouse. Charge what? No Gladius for you. Put the sword down. 
Good air to air right there too as well. Rolled a TK deep with it to catch on these limbs. Preemptively against the stand medium. Backdash away does not get the throw bait that he wanted, but we'll still find the follow up. Oh, DDP Punk. I don't know what happened to him during his break, but he looks so well labbed out in this matchup. It's like he played a Marisa player, and maybe we'll play Marisa players for week after week. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I mean, there's cross medium kick there from Marisa. That's about as much as she's going to get, though. Scooped up throw after a couple knocks at the door. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, it'll be one more. I told you. <laughs> oh, give me, give me, give me three more. Okay, fine. Attack. The throw does not connect, but could have died for it. There's another one. Punk. I okay, knew nice another challenge. One was yeah, yeah, I knew yeah. Another yeah. one was coming. Cut that ass out. Knock down. Here we go. Let's go to town. Level three. Yeah. Equalize things with the CA. Needs closer range after this super. I can't believe Punk hit Strider with the blockable. That's crazy. <laughs> can't block throws. You're right. Oh, he did drive us Gladius and finds a heavy kick follow-up. Okay, I like that fade out. Knowing that Punk might strike back with like crouching unit kick to get outside that corner, he has something for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, again, it, when you get caught by Marissa, it's generally just a mistake on your end, and that definitely the truth there in that interaction because it's a two-touch game. Back throw, interesting, the phalanx shut down though with the crouch jab. Jab the throw right now, tick throw. Crouch Pierce, media this time, double down with the Crouch Pierce again. One more good sequence. So I think the win calls out the throw. He thought another one was coming through, but all came down with his health in the CA, or I should say super, able to finish a job. Damn, Punk to dominant 3-0 against Strider. And again, well done in this matchup. Knew what to do against Gladys, knew where to stand. For even sweep to land. Shows that. Yeah, like how well balanced it is. That's that's a good point, the spacer man. Like it, it does add that additional flair for uh, opening the horizons for so many players that are interested in fighting games to showcase that hey, like just because you play on modern, you are not missing out on a whole lot of anything. Yeah, there are things that modern players might do more often that uh, you know I've been watching, like I saw a mochi fight. Uh, I think it was Kazunoko, and one of the things that modern players were doing is like adjusting, looking for the DPs. But right. because they were doing that, they were standing up, so Kazunoko would just flip them up continuously. Right now, my man's health is getting clipped, even with the scale damage, it don't matter. Puts him in the corner, text a throw, no back throw. Paladin trying to find a way out. Nice jab. Oh, we got there. <laughs> Say hi -ya! God. Shukeki, I rush, Tatsu follow up for the side switch. You see that consistently leave that corner. Oh my god. It's still Luke. It's still Luke, bro. Even on Munner, it's still Luke. My next fighter. Okay. Bet, 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 bet. I mean, I if it's so pistol. easy, if it's so easy, everyone will play Modern, right? That's. That not Definitely true? not the. Best in the dang game. Looks like no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, but it, he's had... modern, it's that easy, right? Everyone would play. Right, that's true. Drive rush, DP. Drive rush in with the mediums. It's just a matchup you have to learn, and let's see if Paladin mm -hmm. understands how to deal with the modern style that Solving's putting on. Stand here, trying to keep that gauge. Gets that counter follow up again. DP situation. Doesn't want to spin the bar. Midi Hashogeki to seal the deal. Mook? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Stop, Chad. <laughs> yeah. All right, nice. Got the scoop after the rush. Hold the fierce. Look, this is a battle of Stan Fierce. Ryu versus. <laughs> one is good. I mean, both are really good, but one leads into a lot of damage. Yeah, no conversions. That Stan Fierce on Luke is fantastic. Fireball follow up. He was with any OD far at all. He does. He does get the shimmy right after the perfect KO. Yep. Yeah, looking golden and paladin in this corner stays folding too continuously. Right. Has to be so careful because it's going to get explosive in the reaction EXDP after the drive rush. Okay, donkey kick after the forward roundhouse. All right. That may be an easier option to utilize because, like, stand light kick. You don't have that from this version of Luke. And there's also some like combos that he doesn't get like no take themselves. However, punish counter. That's skill damage, but you get the side switch. Attack yes. the throw does not connect though. Side switch 
carry back to the neutral ground of the game. Oh, nice rising uppercut. Yep, that's the answer to it. Either that or even driving impact would be a okay answer too. But with the meter, that's going to be difficult because you do have a level one right after. So parry would be the better answer here. Yeah, I like that option. On the same side, more defense, stability up in the neutral, ODDP as a reaction against the Ducky Kick. A lot of expenditure, but let's get some damage. Or heavy kick, counter hit. I like how he readjusts himself. He didn't get the conversion that he wanted, so he drive rushes forward to kind of keep that pressure up. I like that for power. Yes. She's the solar plexus gonna get duck. Nice stand pierce. Couple perfects. Let's get the corner position. Oh, gets the crouching medium kick. Hashokeki Tatsu. Dash up throw. More fears. Forcing solving to walk back. Drive gauge. Not so healthy. Patience here from solving. Chance here dwindling away at the card gauge. Both players here. Nice. Damn, you did it wrong. Nice. Are you kidding me? Paladin just letting it rip. Get that level three. Dang, it does enough damage to get the kill. He is just putting foot to face to put him in his place continuously, just sticking it out. <laughs> Where are you going? That was well damaged. Where are you going to the skies with the shore you can bait? <laughs> oh, Lucas said, Power to take notes from me. The donkey kick into the super. Yeah, you're right, Lucas. Sweep to keep him nice and close for the O. Powder with the crush, you need to kick again. See, solving. I think, again, modern players stand up because they're looking for that, you know, the, the anti airs to be able to reaction, have a reaction against like normals and things like that. But that's why these crushing kicks are landing more often, I feel like. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I like that point that you brought up earlier. You're standing way more often just because you're looking for that easy anti air. And it might distract, like, that's the mental stack that you have to deal with instead. You're looking for a different answer that isn't quite there. Mm. Try to get that donkey kick. Got in and the before can even come out. Drive a heavy kick, DP. Goes to the corner. Gets a throw too as well. It's always doing some of that cash, but it works out. There's counter DP enter two as well. Oh, this is where Powder's kind of been faltering a little bit. It's up in this corner position. Back throw, get that position that we're looking for here. Crash medium kick, there we go. Still able to, was able to jab it out. Had meter two, probably wanted to go for the level one. Drive impact on his wake up. Oh, this actually close to put him to sleep. He's got the CA. Impact again with the reset, the sauce from this vanilla man Ryu. Oh God, Paladin, that was so nasty. Bro, they said you ain't got no sauce, bro. Ain't got no seasoning. When he order chicken? He don't get no pepper, no lorries, no nothing. Look, but let me, no, 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 let me find out for you. Let me find out for you. Got a you know chocolate goddess beside him. You know what I'm saying? Dude, let, let, look, what did I say earlier? That Ryu had sauce, and I was afraid. You know what? No longer afraid. Ryu got sauce, right? I said it before. I'll say it again. Ryu got that sauce. Tell you, Street Fighter Six gets gives sauce to everybody. Gives sauce to everybody. Everybody gets no sauce. Dang, Paladin. Now on game point, do a better about leaving this corner. Has to find these follow-ups though off that counter hit. Too far for the crouching medium punch. But I know he's looking for like that Tatsu side switch out of there. Nice scoop, holding that corner. I don't know what that was. But I'm gonna assume that was a side switch power there. Because he's sick with it. Not right, quick with it. Trying to finish off all. Uh oh. We got that parry. Nice. Take to the knee. Sloppy. All right. You know who said that? It was an individual in Final Fantasy XIV. I was going to say that also stands for something else. But either way, nice jab right after. That's the play. Solving. Sign sloppy up in these streets. Wait. Anyway, solving. Try to get a driver show overhead. Denied. Yeah. Yeah. He's standing up at the wrong time. So I wonder if that's like an attempt to try to drop Harry. He's just not going to Oh, maybe. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, we're out of dodge. And we try to chase with Rush here. Hold the frames. Backs up for the anti right there with the DP. Text the throw. 
Another tag. A lot of tech that could be information for later to blow on some frame traps. Oh god. Oh, he tried to cancel, but saw me a little bit quick with it. Say, Jeff. Pushing forward. Yep. Look, it's just fireball for Sandblast. Who's got the better fireball in the Battle of the Shotos? And this Obviously level three. It's raw, though. How do no bar, no health to play with? What is the drive impact. He got. He's like, I gotta do something. I'm close to burnout. It's gonna be check, no dip. That's it. Solving, sending out the OD fireball and solving this matchup closer and closer. Again, in the corner position, it's hard for Paladin to leave. You see some side switches, but the innate decisions are not working out. Hadoukens here, but look it out. Sam Blast will actually lose out the fireball or win the fireball war against Paladin here, so that's a good call here. And the whip punish. Mm -hmm. Wasn't ready. Set might be wearing on him, yeah. Get more and more stressful. Can't punish everything. Again, this is a modern man. Gotta go low with it. See some uh, ankle breakers. Oh, oh yeah, back up with that stamp is Shimmy. DP Ender. Puts him down with the throw. Oh, Drive rush medium. Yeah, caught him jumping out. So Crouch yeah. medium punch. Insanely good. He goes up, you know, Ryu and Ken have the straight crouch medium punch, and then Luke's like, let me evolve. Well, it's one touch. Walk up DP. Again, modern solutions require modern reactions. Here we go solving on that modern control scheme. Make it harder and harder to get these jump ins. You've got to readjust yourself. Huh? Ooh. Could have been tough here. All right. Nice back dash and solving. Going to own the space here. Trying to get another throw for themselves. But the nice micro step back to get the stand fierce. Dang it, burnout. Have impact? No, you have to be worried. Oh, he didn't wake up. ODDP. Did he put to sleep? Where? That's defeat. Solving. What? what else are you going to do, though? I get it, though, bro. You're close to burnout. Did Everything's looking bad. Screen. Luke was going to sandblast him in burnout. As as I, oh, okay. You might be right. I didn't catch the drive gauge then. Okay, you might yeah. be right then. All right, Gabe. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Then. Yeah, because you do. Yeah. Joe Uma Rogan, Mike X here. Again. Old Shoto versus new Shoto one more time. Oh, no rising upper there. He had to let the fall come through. Goes for this charge. Haymaker. Can't need to kick. Backing way, perfect parry. That's what I want to see more against these fireballs, like that perfect parry drive rush right after. Yes. Or even just the perfect parry to hold on the gate. It's hard. Get that timing down. Help you, uh, you know, save that gauge. Joe spinning all of his, or damn near all of his, with that side switch. Nice and burnout for that sand heavy kick. Gin rise for days. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Burned out. Here's some crouch medium. Oh, my God. Nice crouch fierce. We'll follow up. Yeah, absolutely send this here. You're so close to getting the kill. Level one for the finish. All right, Mike X. Damn, he's doing some work. And Joe, gotta be careful with that bar that he's using. Put himself in burnout, and I feel like that's when Mike X kind of turned up like volume right after. Right. Got aggressive. Yo, that crouch is fantastic, but this is really good too as well. Calling out the drive reversal. It's good for Joe. He's gonna put him in the corner, just have to spin to that drive gauge to do so. Whoa. Cross up, beat, beat. Don't let him leave for free. Not at all. Nice throw here. Gonna hold this corner position. Oh, try to bait out a DP. I can go for it. I want you to. That jab was a message. There's some townhouse follow up here. Should be able to kill as well. Level one. Good stuff from uh, Joe. Eye for an eye in that round. Both that guy level one's the exact same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're actually right. Yeah, careful with the shimmy. That crouching medium kick. Miles Long finds a jump into commit to the fireballs. A little too close for comfort. One cancel. Oh, but still gets him with the crouching medium punch. Charge up. Chaser for the Oki. There, again, perfect parry drive rush right after. I love seeing that. 
Spears. I, I think that is definitely a skill that needs to evolve over time, over the life of Street Fighter 6, especially too against some of these fireball games to get that perfect parry, close the gap. It's so important. You it's obvious to draw mid back. Yeah. yeah, but you know, you're a little too obvious on what you want. And that's kind of the problem. It's like you have them burn out. And that's the kind of thing you can play around. You see him jump out, avoid the burnout. Then with that level three, one touch now. And that'll do. It, for, oh, wait, no. for Mike, though. OD, okay. So I feel Why like not? it's going to work. Well, of course you were burned out. I'll take some shit. Oh, absolutely. Right. It's to steal the game. Gotta watch that bar. Pocket watching. Even watching your own pockets, to be honest. If you have enough bars to not be in these situations where you'll just die to one hit. She's yeah, a little bit too far. Hey, it, it's, a, it's a mix up, right? It's the bait. Mm -hmm. Sand just out of range. Or some throw. I knew that was going to happen. Foxy overhead. Ooh. Jin Rai did not commit to the heavy kick part. Mm -hmm. Still got some damage on the deck. Ooh. Oh, you see him bait out the anti -art. Jump outside that distance with a crouch first. So whip and another jump in again. Joe has been not able to land these fireballs this close. You gotta be careful with that. Nice step back here. Withrow does get the complete punish package. Round two. Go. Up a game and around so far. I'm just jumping back. Finds the crouch fears. Nice. My point with the light punch. Yeah, drive rush starter. One of the best is drive rush light punch from this character in the business. It's so good. He's like so much this character. Stan Fierce. A little bit low on the drive gauge here from Mike, but my God, you ran into the Stan Fierce, and it's gonna be your death. What? Super I wonder if the the Fierce sure you would have won that there. Like I'm not sure. Like. Absolutely send it just to make sure you get the kill, but I think we might have been resourceful there by holding on to that and using the fear sure you can maybe. I don't think it does enough damage me. You didn't think so? Yeah, it, it definitely looked like it was up there because you at least had you know the length of that one drive gauge bar. Uh, yeah. No danger. Mm -hmm. Don't leave the likes of Joel Logan alive. No, not at all. Mike alive after this. Look at this level three has to cut up in the corner. A lot of hell taken off. Joe. Again, with these cross cuts, he's so brave to not let you leave without paying some of that toll, which is your life. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was not the input we were looking for here. I think it was just a raw Shoryuken we wanted. Yeah. Of course, we got the super. Maybe to you know, catch a throw or something like that, but unfortunate. Ran that level three spin. All that bar. We're gonna see a switch. He wants to go for the mirror. Take a okay. look at yourself. That's what he wants to do. However, Joe hasn't run a mirror after mirror. I just saw him fight no other prodigy recently in a, in a heated little money match. Uh, so I think Joe definitely understands how to fight Luke as Luke. I don't know if this is like a start. Yeah, the crash medium kick to kick things off. Rising, hold, lockdown in this corner. Mike X has no hope of escape here. And that was just a sliver of it because the whip throw. Yeah, he's so good about jailing you in. Joe, back off with need beat or keeping it meaty. Either way, that was victory. And again, like just waiting for him to jump, using the crouching medium punch, light punch. Getting there has been fantastic. But this has been problematic. Two out fireballs this close. Mike has been able to be the zoning with the quickness. Frank kill for fears, fireball right after. Now it's Joe's turn. But for not long. Perfect follow up here. Chaser. Yo. For the low instead this time. Yeah. Number one's fine. Yeah, to get that kill. Mike stays in the game. Good luck to Mike X here. I mean, take that first round, or second round, rather. So, yes, with 
So he actually says it's to mess with. But that's not to mess with? Really? I had never known yeah. that. I always thought the line was to Memphis. He, we're going to take a ride to Memphis. That's... Wow. Yeah. When did they change that? DLC. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> It's to Memphis. You're right, chat. It's just like that. Joe says, this is my character. This is my oh. character, my guy. He said, no, 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 no. This is my character. My man didn't even let him So, uh... Keep running those complaints, Chad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep crying. Just let it go. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. When you turn off the game, they're not there anymore. Oh man, I love it. Solve it. Hey man, do it. Do what fits you up in this game or any fighting game. It doesn't matter if it's modern or classic, or whatever control scheme, or character you want to run, broken or not. Do whatever it takes to get that W and solving whatever fits him. You know, while he also has a Ryu too as well. You know, whatever fits him will be perfectly fine. Look at that punish counter, suppressor, and the overhead reset. Oh, you're dead. Round two. Fight. Oh, that was about to be the most interesting footsie scenario ever. Because solving would have gotten an excellent follow up had that crush minion kick. Make contact there. Jeez, nice target combo follow up here from Strider. Can we carry it to this corner. Gladius, but nothing after it though. In terms of solving, having a rebuttal like a stand medium punch gets him to the stand heavy kick. ODDP, the bust out. Solving, gotta oh, be no. careful. He doesn't have a lot of bar. That punch counter will take it all away. Nice. Another phalanx for you here. I'm saying blasted for my life. You know? <laughs> Simplest. It Simplest! Simplest! Tears, tears cover to Luke's eyes. Block <laughs> kick for that extension, extra damage. I don't see that he's back again for that uh, gliding slip whip. Still gets a punish. Knockdown up in the corner. Look at level three. Yes, he will. Good build that bar and have one more situation to get solved. It. Here, oh no. Excellent timing there from Strider and great patience. And honestly, a great way to sit there in the neutral too, because you have such a substantial likelihood that there's no need to. You're playing Marissa. You just need one touch. That's all you're looking for. This perfect airy timing from Strider has been insane. Even though it's a scale, you're just looking to push him in the corner, drive right up for the Yoki. You know, you're looking for that positional advantage. That's why parry is such a strong option. It's not about what happens when that happens. So it happens afterwards. When you're able to set yourself up. And yo, the Superman punch just going over the couch and leading kick, solving and charges it up, unleashing the fist. You can't let her get away with it. That's the name of the game. You just cannot let her get away with it. Parry? Yo, you can't. You cannot, in the face of Marissa at that range, can't be throwing that sand blast. That Gladius is working. I want to see more lows from solving. And again, like, I wonder if there is some truth to the fact that once you're off Otter, you're looking for more anti-air opportunities. And we're seeing a lack of crouching. We've seen some crouch medium kicks here, but that's kind of like, there's the go-to. Nice jab for the anti-air. Okay, uh, get that little sight forward with that stand right there. But sit down, but he's gonna cut the buttons out. The Gladius again, the armor. He's just in that distance to let it hit. But the whip finally gets hit with the level one. Scale damage though, you see it did damn near nothing. This will be scaled too as well. What's all we do after? Go for Oki. Dash. Stand fierce, drive rush right after the throw. Finally pushing straight to the corner. Gladius again. Oh my man loves that option against the fireballs and the buttons. Whoa, there we, we go, go, there we go, the crouch medium kick. Nice. Finally. Get the kill. It's been hard to get in that same range, though, to, to enact that crouching medium kick, yeah. but finally getting close enough to utilize it. But still, Strider with that Gladius continuously gets a fireball. Chase has been fantastic for him. Solving now, driving in with the throw. The trade combo is ready. Has a card for the corner. He's a lax. Here. What a perfect every time back at you too. Let me get the better positioning here with this flash knuckle series. We're building up that level three. 
Stratus got his ready to unleash. Oh, he let it rip. Bro, there was, there was, hello? I thought it was out for a while. No dash wait, up. Bro, wait, wait, what are you what, doing? What are you doing? <laughs> He's like preemptive with the, he was like, bro, I don't want to deal with this. I'm just going to just hold parry and pray. But that's, it. he just canceled. He's like, okay, I'll just get that grip with it though. Hello? You need to go low. Get these lows. Go. Yeah, honestly, a very great point too. It's so scary to get within the effective range of Marissa and try to get that that low, especially with medium kick. You don't have like a, a trailing fireball that might help out. You just have, you know, what's effectively like a hit stun, basically. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's tough. Gladius too as well, disallowing. And when he's, you know, doing that in a Superman punch to also like call it the crouching to kick if it does come through, put solving mm -hmm. in the back, but more often than not. Oh, and he whip punishes Ooh. the back heavy punch, a wish punish. We go solving in burnout, but definitely not other options. Back dash away, the Oki. He's trying to build up this drive meter here. You are sending the haymaker with no drive. Okay, bro. Charlie gotta show him something though. Yeah. Push There's back. If we start oh, anti-airing some of these phalanxes, that's definitely gonna keep Strider on the ground here. There's the Gladius charge. Look, we see the buffer there. There we go. Level one. Scale though, but still has one more in the yeah. tank. Next one might be close enough to kill. It was a bad Gladius. Oh, down. It definitely might kill. The scaling. Crouching right kick snuck in. That's the win. Solving, saving off set point, not done just yet. He's a little bit too far for that crouch medium. Walking into it, that's troublesome here for solving. Level three will do a grip of damage. Right. He's off in the corner after driving. I mean, she you were already in the corner medium. to begin with. That's true. <laughs> Now you see that walk up back throw okay. the drive rush. Another walk up throw here, solving. Watch out, Skeeto. No, okay. Yeah, it's hard to enact wait that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. E, light, takes no, no throw way. reactions. No though. way, I no way. I got the water man reactions. That's going to kill the drive gauge, or at least close to. Yeah. Scale, but still, good position for solving the drive rush. Impact, and there it is. Finally Luke. snuck it in. Okay, tied up in the set to all. Chat is so wow. just, so just looking down and seeing people. <laughs> throw up the M's. Yo, throw up the M's for solving. <laughs> I love, it. I love the violence. In both in this match and in the chat. So it says, I'm, hey, look, if you're nothing without the M, then you shouldn't have the M. <laughs> no, <I shouldn't. laughs> I'm dying. Oh, Lord. The pickup, though. Nice. Suppressor. Great against a throw bait. Now, wait. Solving? Starting to really cook up with these corner positions. Oh, jeez. Yep. Crouch me and kick that. Maybe shut down my phalanx there. There we go. Carry back to the neutral ground. Oh, Cancel. Oh, gets a grip. No. It's a grip of damage because it's punish counter again, solving preemptive. Now he's out of bar. Oh, oh caught a whip. Suppressor's so good against stand medium punch. Mm -hmm. Noted. Oh, who hits to get rid of the armor? Charge up. Smash riding. He's got no bar. Yeah, he had to rebuttal immediately. You're a burnout, but the no old way. D follow up will take him down. This is a good one. Throw up the M's. But throw up your C's. Pick a side. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like the violence. Yeah, let me see a chat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Call up, please. Nice jump out. Got the Gladius cover through, though, on the opposite side. We got to DP one of these Phalanxes. You can do it. It's so hard. Maybe there's so many different looks here from Strider that it's difficult to call it out. Every so often, we see it. And he's been really good about choosing what he does against anti fireball from C-Pro. Perfect parry. But here we go. You're in burnout, bro. Looking ashy. 
was quite the throw call out right there because Strider just activated skewed him right in solving space. Overhead, got to confirm after. We're sending it? You have only two bar. You don't mind if I go beast mode, do you? Uh, uh, ship no dip. DP, jump in. Or just wait. Yeah, the nice. fire wanted to get the win. Yeah, DP maybe wasn't killed, so yeah, bad idea. But I do like to jump in and shit no dip right there. It's about to be it. What a turn on from solving. Ooh, knockdown. Hex a throw though. Not taking that throw though. Solving push is right into the corner. OD? Rip. All these things are not like because they're modern and now Strider's in burnout. Oh man, so many things can see here if you're solving. Yeah. Oh, nice jump in. Trying to parry the Gladius. Interesting choice. Nice crowd. Three you kick. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Alright, just one more interaction. Nice jump out the cross cut. Jump in the jump heavy kick to seal the deal. Solving. Says throw up the M's. You turn around, that's a W. JB versus Joe Umi Rogan. Luke versus Rashid. <laughs> Why is Joe's name Joe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Umi <Rogan. laughs> That's not even close to his real name. His real name is actually way cooler. I'm not gonna say it because it's, it's dope. Okay. Y'all can, can ask him. We ain't Dox and really Joe. Dope. No, no, no. We ain't Dox and Joe. Y'all can ask him on the stream later on. Right now, you can ask him why he is holding all this pressure up in the corner. Finally finds a way out. He has an answer with the crouching medium punch. Side switch, of course, the frame kill. I thought JB knew that the throw was gonna come. Gets a back dash out of there. Uh, but it's so hard to anti this Ooh. character. Jump fierce, jump heavy kick. Heavy mixer. Gonna be at the perfect range. Otherwise, gonna get clipped with a lot of damage. For flash knuckle. Care for the better position again. Yes, straight up. We got the spinning hits. On it. So, another drive bar to go far. JB. Doing great. Like, even early in this round, like, you know, pushing the corner, taking a lot of health off there. And working. Oh, I love that option. Drive rush, crouching light kick. You get so much off of it. Stand medium punch, <laughs> crouching medium kick right after. Oh no, yeah, overcommitted to that one here. So absolutely set in this level three. It'll burn out. Such a strong advantage for JB. Oh, tons of damage. This is bad. Yeah. Fair in a burnout. One of them is definitely Rashid. Doesn't get talked about enough. Chip sequences that they can do are deadly. You see JP harass continuously. Overhead, parry, wait, bait, decimal. ODDP as a rebuttal. JB putting people on the back foot in the corner. Continuously. Mm -hmm. Really good about that. Jeez. Yep, already got the forward advance. And try to get the whip punish there. I think that was a solid seven for JB. Mix up. Well. When you announce it, it's easier to block. Boy, I know that jump fears, blessed, a mixer. I, can, I see the counter hit, I knew what it was. And I know that oh, about the damn you take this round. One more crouching medium punch sequence after. Try to get oh, it. Try to get ODDP. Yeah, way too late on that reaction there. And now you gotta hold this corner, burned out. You're trying to sneak in the throw. Not bad, You're still safe. Shimmy Wimmy, nothing doing. We just jab it out, but the airy. That's up. This chip sequence impact. Yeah, right before you get that bar back. Gonna be quite a bit of damage if you stay optimal with it. OB pick up. That's up for Yasar right after. This is so nasty. You're still carving the blender, bro. Oh, oh. the back though, the timing from Joe Ube Rogan. And just like that, I grabbed him. <laughs> You get it, like the last part of the story, just like that, I grabbed him. Oh, man. <laughs> and everything was looking dire. Everyone was about to die. And then what happened? I grabbed him. Grabbed him. 
Level three immediately gonna kill all that drive gauge. And again, that jump fear's coming through. I, I remember, you know, JB talking about how bad this is in terms of like dealing with those jump ins. No parry has come from him just yet. He's gotta find a way to play, bro. Back to the screen at least. It's so yeah, good. Two funny suspects. So <laughs> Got that Millie Rock, bro. Yo, the Crouch Fierce. Big call here from Joe Umaroga, ticket ticking the game. All right, again, let's jump in. Also, that defense against the SR. Man is in the room. Too far for the Crouching Fierce, though. JB now making him call that button long. Oh, no. Back call on the ODDP. Frame kill with the overhead. So doesn't call up in the corner. Meaty with the crouching meaty punch. Walk up throw. Oh, too far for the Stan Pierce. Big opportunity here for Joe Uma Rogan. Has to build up this drive gauge. And we're definitely going to get a little bit here with this offense. Excellent parry. But scary stuff here if you're Joe Uma Rogan. Still unswayed, though, for this approach. Jump back. But that Stan yep. Pierce not able to land in time. Trade, one more hit, perfect carry, finally! We Good. see it, I mean, it's a it's a finicky thing to do it as an anti-air, but you can't use Mixer, you can't use OD Mixer, it's just not gonna work the same way as a PP with some other characters. Final answer. She's gonna throw, but already too high up there to get that punish. I don't want any of that nonsense, that stop. Park or park, no. No, park that. Maybe get the drive rest right after. He's got that level two. He's not gonna actually send it out just yet. Maybe he wants to kill more of that drive gauge before that happens. A medium punch. Yeah, he's chipping away. A medium punch, that was a burnout. Level three of all things. Get the bar back. Okay, I see. JB wants that big lead. Joe, in a bad way, burnout. Got a rush, confirm. And behold the corner with a drive impact stun. You're done. Yeah, JB, that jump fierce. Follow up to seal the deal. Round one. Dang, this corner pressure, how he gives you a chip. You don't even recognize that's happening. And Joe on the back foot continuously. Game point, JB. Corner set up once again here from JB. No! Already in blocks on there, so wasn't able to sneak in a throw that we, like we wanted. Harry on the approach, but the medium kick. I think that was a jab start up there from JB. I like that. Wallsy with the buttons. This character can definitely do so. Stand medium kick. Mm -hmm. Crush a medium punch. Oh, almost got a grip against that parry. That would have been dead. Crush counter. Crushing medium kick. No clap rush right after it. Yeah. JB driving with the crouching light kick starter. Gonna pick up a reversal from Joe, but the crouchy medium punch. This time from Joe to stuff. Drive rush. Right. Stay in medium. Mm -hmm. Cross cut DP. Overhead block. Backs away. Stan Fierce is the play. Caught the back dash. That's that ass. Level three. You gonna die. This is a good confirm here from Joe Umarogan. That'd be a two all lineup here. Okay. I like even games. No blowouts. Let's see, go down the limit. This is happening right now. Joe getting a way better, like, handle on the neutral so far, but all it takes is Joe, like, JB to, like, get the party started up in this corner with this get real nasty. You lose so much help in sequences, you can't defend it against every single mix. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, you definitely got to push it to the limit because you're just in it to win it here, and that's what the direction you're going to go with this back throw. Hmm. Back throw outside the corner. Yeah. That is not the direction you want. <laughs> yeah, just want to get some distance, I guess, but still. Back to the screens, A OK here for Joe. Whips a stand fierce, sweep off the feet to set up the sequence. Cyclone, the tech, throws out connect. connect. Joe's defense is insane. Now both the defense of JP getting grip from Drive Rush in with a tick throw. Even that should be assault. Okay. Yeah, very infrequent level two that we've seen in this set so far. I think we've only seen it like a couple times. Oh, Most of it's been spent on level three, but a beautiful a pick up there. Yeah. Brother, you can't jump against that. It's so hard because you don't want to stay yeah. just stuck in one spot. 
Only DP here. Bust out melee from JP for a heavy kick plus. Joe respects the frame, takes back his turn when he can. I'm rolling, but has to respect it here until the crouch medium punch. Screen Sam Blast once again. Joe trying to whittle away at JP's drive gauge before it happens to themselves, but too little too late. Burnout drive yes. rush. Got a wish punish. He's in. Optimal stuff. Frame kill and burnout. Don't matter. Shimmy. It's a stimmy one. About to cash it off. Get it done. Oh, he baited. Yeah, now we punish. Easy bait up into the side of JB. Takes it 3 2 over Joe. You two can have a real meal with your easy bait oven. That's mm -hmm. a fact. Strange. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I'm so curious of what that used to taste like. Anyway, either way, winners, finals, gonna be an absolute treat right here. Who's gonna weak defeat? Knuckle Do versus Punk. Let's get it. Who's hungry? Me. <laughs> I got some cheesecake wait for me after this, all right, y'all? Let's go. Got some crumble cookie in the back, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm true. All right, nice flash. Of course, the Oki off the spiral arrow. Back though, caught the walk back. And we get that positional advantage, but not for long. Once again, Oki, OD flash kick right back at him. He's been using that as a whip punish. If he's like nasty little side switch, like the jump light kick, cross up, mm -hmm. that should be it. Crack the neck, crack the feet. Yeah, yeah, I guess you do break your feet if you get dropped down like that. Yeah. Like the movie, bro. Corner strike that dive kick. I guess like a preemptive crush and meaty kick. There's a stand meaty kick anti air right there. So enough to be great choice. Ooh! Spin up a little. Got perfect position here for Punk. Strong life lead. Just out of range. See, so smart with the spacing on not only what Cammy has available, but also what the opponent has available too, because we were just a step away from the crouch medium kick being able to reach Punk. Yeah, when it hits that counter, he gets some distance with the flash kick. That mm -hmm. would have let him have a little bit more breathing room, but Punk understood. No way. No way we get the scammy cammy mirror. Who's going to outscam the other person? No way. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He doesn't oh, like this mirror, yeah. though. Why is dude doing this? All right. Dance begins. Stand medium kick here for Punk. Oh, this is I, I like to see 15 matches like this. Caught him low, but did not get the follow-up though, Punk. Not getting that back medium. Getting clipped with a dive kick, yeah, of course. Oh, it's high right there. Yeah. It's hard. Okay, entire Cammy all this time. You believe you're playing Cammy? <laughs> same yeah, brain no, the same heavy kick. <laughs> literally, that whole sequence there. I'm watching the, the what the negative zone, I guess you could call it, in between the two of them. It's just all right. I know what normal can reach first, and both of them are playing just outside of it. We're looking for them. I mean, you get the stand roundhouse, and the moment they both decided to execute, it was Knuckle Dude that came out on top of that stand roundhouse. And great turnaround here to get this awesome situation. Just jab it out for the W. I think it's continuously. Not even click the crouching meter kick, but other buttons. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Brother. The back throw, though. There from Knuckle Dew, honestly. But yeah. yeah, the back throw. Lost a lot of ground here. That Dew had just gained that crouch medium in the spiral. Again, try to clip a limb. Trey conversions. Sweep off the feet. That's going to be the punk special. That's how you know which one is punk. We see those sweeps. And back up. DP to die kick. Brother, Munland is all locked in. Yeah, no, this no. is the perfect position that Punk wants to be in. Could be a bully in this corner, whittle away at the defensive gauge. The shimmy wimmy to end it all for the round. Ooh. All right, almost getting point here for Punk. We're getting it back and doing a better job of dealing with the dive kicks. And maybe at some ranges where you can't feel comfortable. Finally, these jump ins. He's picking and choosing when he wants to go in. Punk getting puppeteered. Stan Meeting kick a really good move to like, poking away, like testing the yeah. waters. That, that's absolutely 
like the entire point of that because it, it shuts so much down. You still get your follow-ups after. Nice throw. Too tough to punish there, but we caught Punk standing. Nice side spot from Doom. It's like walk back, shimmy. Just one more sequence into Super to seal it. That was great patience for Punk right there too. No, I don't think that whips. Way. I think it recovers. It actually hit. What? No way. No shot. No goddamn shot. That actually hit. That is. This mf -er don't miss, bro. No. That gotta be. Nah, bro. Mm -hmm. This dude is insane. I was all sound based, right? And not even just sound based, but the fact that we've seen enough the dive kicks show up time and time again here. But to have a punish and that reaches and that re doesn't recover. I don't... Later, 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 later. That was insane. DPs the dive kick again. The reactions from this dog. Also the spacing, calling out these, you know, specials and things like that. Putting Knuckle Doom in burnout. I mean, depending upon the strength, you're looking at minus eight to minus seven recovery on that cannon strike. Minus set, but like at that to react to get that the perfect time. Yeah, that no, sense. you're totally like, right. Yeah, that's crazy. That's very fast. Oh, you pick up the seal the deal punk on set point. I'm wondering what would have been better if you want to switch back to Guile. Even though it's kind of a, a weird match, you can't throw out boots like you'd like to, but I shouldn't prophesize their demise right now. Nothing to do, can still make the return over C. Never do it so right now. Spiral arrow for the Oki. Stand me against the Oki again. Can't punish. Sweet. Jabbed out, yeah. Medium kick here. So scary because it's gonna get explosive uh, depending upon who gets that solid confirm with honestly punk more to gain because of the drive gauge advantage it, that they have. Dive there kick. We go. Okay, nice DP again. So great against these dive kicks. I haven't seen someone. Okay, sharing the brain cell again. Punk. You must be careful that level three is on the side of Knuckle Do. He's just building level three. As well, he could do that in a combo sequence and uh, seal the deal if he's given a chance. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. What a follow up after. Level one. Yo, we out of there. Let's get the drive rush and unfortunately not going to reach in time for a punish, but you're stuck in a throw. How did you know? He did a dash up. He said, hold up. No, I messed up. Let me let me, let me me ride it back like that. Paul mods right now. I'm going to ask him after. That is insane. Anyway, let's talk about this match right here. JP going to some modern man Luke. Just kind of biding right. your time here and forcing Solving to walk forward because, again, I, you know what? It's so interesting you called that out that more modern players are Standing, at least it seems to be very true for Solomon like that so much mileage is getting out of these lows. Mm -hmm. Again, you're looking for certain things as a modern player. You right. have to be also watch out for what you lack and he lacks in health right now. JD taking that round. Yeah, we, see, we see the crouching approach too, trying to micro step forward. But JB's just waiting. All right, Perry's out there. If we see that delayed, like Perry, he's kind of holding. JB might get my set, get like a grip and get that, you know, just like that. Punish counter throw, extra damage. Mixer oh. works out. Yeah, almost has the gauge just worn out. And look, you spent it, whiffed fireball entirely, and we used the boosted dash just to get the throw. Already burned out. Nice, crouch light like heal. Heal. The super level three to seal the deal, or close to it at least. You are damn near dead if this don't kill. Just the fact they're in burnout against this character. OD Fireball, or just Drive Rush in. Mixer, Mixer yeah. again. Yeah. JB on one right now. Here, but opened up a little bit too early. Try jumping out. Still going to get caught by the Stamp Fierce. Oh. 
medium punch, of course. Get that crouching light kick. This is suppressor. I feel like Salty's starting to add more and more of these normals on the deck. Something definitely on the menu. Fireball, perfect parry, and punish it close. Forcing Salty to back off. Sore. As in, you're gonna feel sore after this mix up. <laughs> oh, oh, medium punch. I can't believe it. That's bus. Oh, <laughs> such a good button there, too. It's got that forward reach for Rashid here. You able to capitalize so much off of it, too. Nice forward throw, setting up the level two. To the crouching medium kick, mixer light kick, OD, that's it. JP again making the most out of Yasar. Yeah. It's always the assist, right? Especially to the way that JP doesn't interact with it. Like pressing it forward like we saw earlier. We've only seen that happen one time. JP just uses it as a backup. Like, all right, cool. I'm going to keep going for my really dangerous move. Try to force you to make uh, an attack through it. And we've been thrown out a couple times, but for the most part, it's been very effective. Unfortunately, he was able to that punish oh, gosh, Chase down. Yeah. ODDP, though. JP, that bust out. Bust oh, out no. did not work out for solving solve this equation. Overhead, yeah. You failed the test. Got one more chance. Put the oh. rest. Super, you can't do that. You failed the class now. Rashid. You failed the class. What's up, class? He <laughs> walks up to the camera. And that is what happens when you drive impact while I got me. Any questions? Some classic reactions, y'all. Come on. It's a drive impact. You can run those supers. I like that from JP. Keeping that bar for defense. Roll like right after. Now, careful that suppressor. We've seen that clip. Some of these buttons. It rears back and right. like medium and things like that. Real nice. Ooh, he found the stand fierce. Gets the knockdown. Frame kill. Ooh. Stand fierce again. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. You really tried to burglarize him. Yeah, you tried to get him in pockets. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see if we can side swap. Nice stuff here after the drive impact. Hold the corner. Oh, just coming through. Yeah. yeah, before you can even get super, you're probably dead. It's going to chip those dip real soon. JP, oh, oh, hold on, now there's a gap. Lights, lights. Stan Fierce, follower ball. He's got drive gauge no! for the throw, but the crouching medium kick. My God, two whip throws, you got away with it, and JB just kept the punish simple. Simple solves everything. All right, JB. Perfect carry for it from a mile away. Yep. Carry to the mid screen, very important position here for JB to get out and stop being bullied. Oh no, you don't! So walk up throw. Flip out, but you still got in the corner. We need to find a way out. Yes, we do. The side switch, though. I like that even better than going for like, OK. With that side switch, now you have all this room to enact you, uh, you saw. Dash up throw again. Yo, took a step back. Now we're pairing this tornado. Good stuff. Parry's just the MJV. Finally, the perfect parry. If I push that, should be able to kill that level one. Yeah, spin to win. I like that. Even with the scaling, understood how much you need to spin to get that W. You we were both on that same wavelength, honestly, because the moment you said, where's Trino as well, if you could please use those sponsor quests, tweet it out, even direct contributions would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get to that $300 price point. And here we go. Four meter punch to start the party off. Frame kill, OD, flash kick, release out the table for a little bit. I like that Knuckle Dude's taking to the skies early again. A lot of ranges and angles where this character cannot anti air unless he's predictive with it. No position here. EX flash, get off him. Full screen situation. You gotta deal with the slow bones. <gasps> oh, super out of range. Yes, he uses reactions against them. Should be the end. OD Cyclone. JB definitely knows how to, you know, party against this matchup. You fought characters with Sonic Booms. You fought characters with, like, fireballs or, like, with reversals. How to bait that out. Right. It's definitely been a big portion of his game plan. <laughs> 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 
Yes. I see Guile crouched. Uh, what you doing over there, man? Uh, that pushback. Yeah, at least this is good. Make him spin some of that bar. But he still gets it back because he parries, but at least has the corner position. And almost had the whiff punish too after that second shimmy, even though they got drive reversal out. Mm -hmm. There's that parry there, still keeping it up with it, but the throw sneaking in there. Nice, break up parry. He's ready, lines of crushing, gonna kick steady. Knockdown, dashes in, medium crushing, medium punch. Strikes back, but again, those lights, whether it be standing or crouching, they all be landing and stuffing, stopping up. He did not get the fault that he wanted. Okay. Here we go. Knuckle Doom might spend all this bar to get his back in some way. Level 3 play, of course. Alright, so one touch is all that dude needs. And there it is. The crouch medium kick. Pretty blessed button. It's a really good button. Pretty good. Like a very small forward advance almost with that animation. It's very interesting for a, a low post. Can be out low poke though. If you want to see that happen, there's things are right. JB loves his crouching unit kick right back. Right in the corner. Five rush light. Take throw. I like that fireball switch up. Oh! The mix again. Puts him in the blender with a drive impact for the pickup. OD. Enough to kill though. We get four oh, meters. Like, no, we won't. Yeah. I wonder if he didn't have the bar for the follow. I'm not sure. Because we had the jump. We saw this jump heavy punch as well come out, but it just did not connect. Yeah, again, that window is just so tight to deal with. Actually, it was the jump media punch that came out, rather. JB, so get the first victory, though, mm -hmm. even with that being said. Again, what he does in the corner is ridiculous. He puts you there, you know, either with parry, like you see right here, or whatever corner carry situation you can get, and then he goes to town. And then you get to in these situations where you lose so much health. Even when you leave, you've lost most of your, your health through Rod Gay trying to defend against the mix. You do trying to stay solid, ball, so the OD fireball. Nice throw. Dude, I thought he was going to say happy birthday. Did he say happy birthday? It's, I, it's happy birthday, and then he dashed. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know if it's the right time to say that, but it's the right time here for JP to get this punish perfectly done with the stand, fierce crouch, fierce follow ups mm -hmm. to maximize. That'd be a cool little feature for Rashid for every character's birthday if he fights them. It says happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> the follow up. Whoa. But no punish. Yeah. yeah. Back fist too far out. Perry sneaks in a throw, just enough room there. Block. Yeah, there. Medium nose to Dan Fierce. Follow up though. Does get the throw, and again, close to burnout. Uh -uh. No way this hit. Nah, it's, that's it, that's it. JB, the little sauce of ESR, is now in position to go to game point to possibly also fight Punk. I mean, gosh, the way that uh, JB just constantly toys with the spacing between themselves and the opponent, really trying to force out these reactions and, and play against your, uh, you know, you have confidence in your reactions as a high-level player, especially in the hands of Knuckle Dude here, but then you see a character like Rasheed just really toying away with that here. Oh, nice crush on the drive impact. I think we're to see what that follow-up from Knuckle Dude. Yeah. Taking advantage of that uh, route of momentum. He's got a big lead. And he's able to get the follow up with the OD right after. What? What? I'm just seeing new things every time I watch out with Son of Knuckle Dude. I didn't even know that worked. What the juggle? Anyway, Knuckle Dude, saving on set point. It's back throw. Oh! You hate to see it. These early leads are leading to early execution. Knuckle Dude running that level three. Game there for Knuckle Dude. How? Well, you see, EX spinning Mixer.
This is Perica, looking bad. Need to come through, yeah. Speaking of the parry, I mean, it's good that Knuckles has been able to stay out the Sonic Booms and drive us that after the fall, but the parry. jb has been going for that option, and he would do so against Guile, but he's playing around that option. Oh, big. Yeah, not big punish, but at least, hey, you got the punish counter on the roundhouse. The sweep, rather. The knockdown. Yeah. Medium kick, committed to a button. I don't even know if Antire yeah. would have worked at that point. Mm -mm. The force with some space. Crouch fierce is the Antire. Nice. Too far for the Drake Fane to reach the overhead. Except for the level one, though. Oh, EX fireball of your own. Ha uh ha, -huh, but the upside down kick. Round two. You see, again, like that that fireball is like like utilized to like fight back against fireballs of the side of Guile. So I like that option. However, Knuckle Dude. Ooh. He's getting these leads so quickly. Oh, challenge as well, four throw. You haven't seen your star in a bit. Shimmy? Oh, yeah. we'll, commit to the, we'll commit to the first one. I guess you never really commit to the first one. Two, two options. Well, that's the thing, too. It's just JP has been scooped out enough out of these level twos that you already noticed that JP is giving a wide berth when setting that up against their opponents. Oh, that is true. Good point, good point. The low, the mixer. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Great bait. Yeah. Punish. JB on set point. Round three to kick. Oh, unfortunately, that trade combo, you can't really get the stand medium punch. A little bit too stubby. Throwing bows like that. Wow. No way. That was, not really, that was just a, a immaculate timing. You know, just an unfortunate circumstance for Knuckle Dew. Unless, look, if JB was psychic, then my God. He doesn't use, like to use like drive rush and whip punish stuff. Right. But to use that button, it probably was maybe preemptive. I didn't realize that button either way. Trade. JB, the big lead. Nice cancel on the drive rush there. Sneak in that throw. Oh, no. This is a bad spot to be. Make the most of Stan Fears. One more hit will seal it. Yassar could equalize things. He has to be careful when he sets it out. Knife Ray start up, but Drive brushes in to get the win. Crouching light kick. Definitely the purpose of that Drive Rush right there. And JB moves on to after winning one set. We'll see if that even happens. You know, some people are saying that uh, last time they fought, JB took the victory. But I feel like Punk is kind of different today. Yeah, I think Punk, if Punk took a loss against JB's Rashid, definitely took it to the lab immediately after, as, you know, one would do at high level play. Oh, wow. Yeah, good enough walk back, try to get the anti air, but unfortunately was too late for that one. Stan Fears. Cycling right after. Yeah, JP and that perfect range to, like, you know, heavy mixer. Exactly. Or just gets clipped with a dive kick. Oh. Got called out for rushing, got a little bit too impatient there, wanted to try to take the turn back. Whiff for a whiff. That drive rush side kick again. Do a dividend. Heavy mixer right after. Text the throw though. Correct though, this character from the corner, real Ooh. nasty. I see the counter that was probably supposed to be a DP, but uh, JP took advantage of this positional advantage. Yeah, just getting a cross medium kick instead. Wow. Oh, trying to sneak in the throw, but was too far away. Big opportunity here for Punk. No! Too much. All right. All right. All right. On this stream, we stay serious as we see who rates okay. came out here. Punk with the first game officially. Dive kick to start the party off. We've seen Stan Fierce whip, and now that's going to whip too as well. Easy punish and pick up your punk. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice jab, but unfortunately able to just immediately shut it down with a rush to get back in the corner. Nice jab. Drive rush throw. It's in the burnout. Oh, he didn't have the conversion. 
Okay, man, you have to switch off the. I, I think you drop us up because you can't see your kicks. But that super ain't it. Yeah, meaty fireball really good against wake up supers. They don't have that protect on all. Great kill right there from JP. Oh no, that's a big punish right there. Punk here. Jimmy with the stamp here. Is it with the DP? Backs up, tries to get the DP, but again, yeah. you see the counter a little bit late on the draw. Now, the back row here, hold the tornado. Nice jab. Right. Ooh, We're yeah. pushing it to Stan Fierce. Can game. do it. I mean, honestly, the crouch medium but punch is such a good button and such a good contribution with the avatar that is the goodest of pups. Clearly, Mustard Pie, thank you so very much. Zoroark is a good Pokemon. Is this Zoro Arc? Zoro Arc? Zoro Arc does not sound like it's correct. A roar. Always trust chat. Right. Always trust chat. Always trust that Punk's gonna go for these throws. DP did not reach, but stand medium. Kick didn't get much off of it. So with these lights, dry brush. Put a combo on the mark. Frame kill. Yeah, he put himself for that equal spike into Yasar. See the sequence. Often perfect parry. Deepest break from Punk. Is this gonna hit? Is this offense? Yes, it is. It cuts through the Yasar. That was sick. Try to get that in here. Didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Good answer back. Putting a point on the board is JB. Thorax with the thorax ain't working out right now. JB. Yeah, back to work. This is a <laughs> Zoro arc. Because it's supposed to ride with dark, apparently. And just because it says its own name doesn't mean it's correct, you know? More people, more people play this character. Rashid takes work. He's a very technical character. Yeah. And to maximize the amount of damage that comes through, it takes a lot of effort. You have to put him in the corner. You have to have the right sequencing. And the saucing with the bar means you have to keep yourself healthy with the drive gauge. JB has understood this from five and now into six. And now look at this corner pressure over and over again. Also, his anti are hard to utilize. Back up for the heavy mixer. Sweep for the sweep for the sweep Ooh. here from Punk. Sweep again. One man's trying to clean the floor. Yeah, that is such a scary thing about Rashid is that I, I feel like Rashid is such a high execution, like not high execution, but a high skill gap character. Like the skill ceiling is just way up there to really take advantage of you know, how overwhelming he could be, especially in situations like this. This is great, but like, look at the damage compared to yeah. other characters in terms of like straight up Oki and stuff. But when it does work, it works very well. Unfortunately, that was punish counter back though. That puts him close to the burn now, and this definitely will get him right there. Level three spin from the side of Punk for that one touch situation right after. Can go for the impact. Careful though, the bar at the bottom level one can also explode. Stand fierce to sludge hammer through. I'm breaking down the door. <laughs> but, uh, Two? Okay. You get that knockdown, just get that distance, get that level two. Oh, no. Harry. There we go. But unfortunately, that go a little bit too early right there. Or actually, didn't have an opportunity to react to that throw in particular. So, go for the Oki, even mm -hmm. rack rise. No surprise. The character is still right there for the Oki. Look at that. JB trying to open up with the crouching like it continues. Oh, no anti air? He's very deep. deep. Dive kick. Yeah, oh my god. You can go that deep. You got the low. Low? <laughs> Medium mixer. He's got Yasar. You better spin that Yasar with the quickness, brother. That's why you might. Oh, I'm surprised Punk not playing as compact. Knowing that you give him that distance, he will hit that Yasar. Oh. Drive impact right back. Drive impact, yeah. Spending here. There it goes. 2 1 lead here for JB in this first grand finals round. He's doing a fantastic job, too, as well. You know, again, the corner pressure's been fantastic. The mix-ups have been really great. Mm -hmm. Pushing Punk out away so he can't just hold parry, but deal with the SR and making the most of that level, too. 
Can he get through though? This is to reset the bracket. Punk stop this. Double dash in with the throw. ODDP this time for the bust out's fine. Yeah. Oh. This corner position here is Punk trying to take advantage as much as they can out of this. Look at this. Nice. Great capitalization too, especially at that life deficit. No reason not to spend that drive gauge. Yeah. All right, we're punishing that blessed button. That's crushing the unit. Great button, but like most of those, has recovered. Got him on the way down, gets a punish counter, ends it with the DP, walk up with the throw. Again, Ooh. strike those good, but another only DP works out here for JB. No anti. It's really interesting because game one, Punk was all about these anti airs, and now we just don't get them. Air, nice throw. air throw! Yeah, and then again, the distance where Heavy Mixer air throw can preemptively react. Just runs it raw, and we get that knockdown. Oh. Nice pickup as well. Jesus Christ. You thought it was over? I, so look, you thought he was done? So cool. No, no, I did not. I just, I, he's cool. It is, I can't do that. Like, it's hard to do. I can't do that combo either. It's a lot of practice and effort, but JB able to capitalize on all these sequences. Oh man, I would have got Goblin got Punk. Taste Sauce only holds a throw. Just the timing on the falling button for Rashid is just very, like, it's so specific to try to get the products, but it's, it looks so cool. It pays off so well. That air to air right there. Punk well, keep in the corner as much as possible. Driver Scott fears. Light dive kick. Backs up for the air to air again. Uh, the tip of the fingertip for that stand fierce. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah, really making up the buttons. Surprising. You might have gotten hit with that meaty. This is, I think, the vegan option. All even out punk on game turner point. JP trying to reset the bracket. I mean, that was such a commitment on that dash, too, from JB. Just I, there was not anything back backing him up on that. Just trying to get to the corner as fast as we could. So that was a good enough threat there uh, for Punk to be able to challenge with that crouch jab. Yeah, I'm surprised he would do like more medium punch. That's a good move right. to dash up. Like, the other good options. Or crouching medium punch like that too as well. You see that as a, his best medium for the sheet. But still, all even out right now. Stuffs and stops the drive rush from coming through. Again, that crouching medium punch. Great button to convert off of. holding this corner is JB and Punk at that perfect space here. One mistake is all that Punk is fishing for here. There we go. He's acclimated to the cost. He's like, okay, now. This fits right. This fits right now. <laughs> oh, he got rid of the bot? Is that it? <laughs> Actually, I don't think he did. I think he's still playing with it, but still. He is on tournament point. JB, right it back. I need to see more games, JB. OD deletes the media off the table. Nice jab. Okay. The bottom. Whoa. Super. Yep. Good reversal to get out of there. Great call. And wow. Already corner position here. He finished the jump. Oh, no oh. back throw. He didn't complete his combo. You should have finished your plate. Now Punk backing off to do the maximum rage. Super to seal it. See ya. See you later, says Punk as he takes out JP. Punk is your champion from the winner's side of this week's TNS. He puts us in that ugly ass costume, bro. The full screen backdash to go for level three. Just to show, that was for you because he wanted to show you the range that level three actually hits.